maintenance today. New cards. Let's go. I thought I was supposed to be here already, man. This is a little disappointing. Disappointed. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, 12 eyes. Uh, to me, Conkles, but only one of the ritual spell. Okay, I'm playing one of this now. One hidden armory. Three targets, though, so it's not too bad. Uh, the nearest Nadir servant. Will actually be better once the level 9 Mikanko comes out. My, my camera looks weird. Maybe it's where I'm sitting. Maybe I'm too close. Maybe like over here is better. Maybe it's just because I don't stream that much anymore. I'm just not used to streaming anymore. Uh, four more ways. Let's go, dude. I got my lemon water. Kind of want to play uh, Marble Snap again. I don't know about streaming it, though. Oi, brav. Oi, this ain't good. This ain't a good hand. Oh, come on. Against Snake Eye, dude. Yeah, let's just ash it. Let's just ash it. Get ashed. Ash the ash, baby. Okay, so preparation of rice. Search Ohime. Uh, Ohime. Bonfire. Wow. Okay, cool, buddy. So Ash did nothing. That's a fucking bar, bro. I can't believe they added that fucking card in this game. That's crazy. Well, we lost. Our hand sucks. Oh, he may ditch Trias. Um, oh, he may ditch Trias. What are we gonna search? Uh, Arabesque is a good target. Uh, ceremony. Doesn't do shit. Ceremony. Oh my god, Volcanics, bro, man. He's just gonna burn me to death, dude. Oh my god, I hate this game so much, man. First duel of the day already. Fuck, man. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do about this fucking game, dude? Oh my god. I just can't, I just can't get, catch a break with this fucking game. I'm gonna end up quitting again, man. I'm just gonna be burned to death before I can even fucking do anything. Oh my god. Maybe I should, um, wow. Wow. Take the ash, cool. Throw in a bunch of hand traps, and then throw in three small worlds. Because, uh, Ghost Ogre actually is uh, pretty good against this this deck. Because popping the, uh, popping the ash, they would lose it. Uh, let's see, and then Poplar would be summoned, but Poplar would still search the spell and trap. So, actually, not really. Ghost Ogre wouldn't do too much. Nibiru works if they don't have the field spell. Which this, uh, which would, yeah, they would, they, I don't think they could play through Nib with this board. I might have to like take out the Magician Souls engine 
even though it really helps and replace the engine which is a bunch of hand traps <sighs> they haven't burned me at all yet is this more snake eyes than it is volcanics um, well they, they will summon this guy though they're, they're, okay, so this version is not playing, I guess, the um, the spell card. What is it called again? Ball, uh, the, not scatter shot. The, the little machine. The little machine thing. The spell card that's machine. You put in the little fire mods. And it is, blah, 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 blah. 2K? What added up to 2K? For each banished pyro monster. Okay. 2 in the butthole right there okay so at least I didn't get burned for a million damage sash does uh, this ain't looking good bro this is not looking good one ash and we just simply lose Activate. What up, Pino? Okay, so we have Arabesque. I've been okay. Just been working out to keep busy when I'm not working. But it's, it sucks when you're on a rest day, man. It's like, bro, I don't, I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm so bored. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess just Arabesque. I'm sure they can out the Ohime if I summon it. Actually, I don't have a normal summon, but I don't have an equip card either. Yeah, we have to go arabesque. Oh, this hand is straight dog shit. Um, we could actually make an anima right now, but there's no good spot to summon the. Wait, what? I can't summon anima. Does it need an effect monster? Except the token. Okay, that's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. Um, during your opponent's turn, quick effect. You can target one monster card. Maybe the Prometheus Princess. Return that to the extra. Maxi. Like, uh, Maxi is irrelevant at this point unless they play Nibiru. Special summon it. Okay. That's gonna bring back level one fire. Wait. Oh, that's banished as well. Yo, that's some bullshit, bro. They literally. They, I can't believe they 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 let Oak uh, summon banished level ones too. Like that is that is absurd. That's so. Uh, that's so annoying how they they added that. It's graveyard or banished. Like as if the deck wasn't already good enough. Oy, oy, oy. Now we're going to bounce. Do I gotta take my power monster in the field and flick damage? Uh, does it destroy it? Oh, it's not a, not a pyro though. Okay. Damn, I'm going to take a thousand damage? That's some bullshit, man. Oh yo yo yo! That's a five hundred there, and that's five hundred there, dude. They can't help themselves with making tears or BS. Yeah, they're like addicted to being stupid. Damn. Okay. At least we 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 took an imperm. 
They think we're playing Mikonko, but what sucks with this hand is like we don't really have plays. We have to hope Magician Souls gives us a draw. But we're going to take another 1,000 damage. So for each special summon, I take 1,000. So I can only summon four times. I can only summon four times. Okay, this here's here's what we do. Uh, anima anima play is live now. So we're gonna steal one of these uh, volcanics. And I forgot we got max seed. Holy shit! Okay, well this is gonna be. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much dead, man. What up, Zilly? Uh, well. I mean, we can, but uh, two Volcanic Emperors we got to kind of deal with right now. We drew a Drit. Okay, now we're going to make Anima. Because every time I summon, I take 1,000 damage. So if I, make, if I make Chaos Angel, I lose. Like, it's game. I get burned to death. Because Sigrun is already one. And then Satched. And then another level nine. That's already 3,000. Uh, Chaos Angel is 4,000 damage. So I would be at 1,000, and then that's the, just it's not enough to win. Okay, so now we only take 500. So now I believe we can make a Chaos Angel. Uh, we have to get rid of the Volcanic Emperor there. Um, but we're still under Maxi. So let's just hope they don't play Nibiru. And if they do, let's just hope uh, they don't draw it. We like we could make an Appaloosa, but Appaloosa still like it's not gonna give us game. Like we're in such a bad spot right now. <laughs> Might as well mill. Since he's uh he's gonna keep drawing. Got rid of the ash, cool. What up, Pyro? Okay, what do I got in my graveyard? Trias. Uh, let's make some more link plays. We can summon a monster from his graveyard. We can summon the volcanic emperor. No, we cannot. It doesn't say must first be special summoned. He still has Link Rebo in the grave. Except tokens? Fuck. Wait, what? I can't make an IP Masquerina? Is it because you can't use like Link monsters? Two non-links? Okay. Damn it. Alright, so here's our first Chaos Angel. Um I guess we'll banish the Man, this is a this is a tough choice. The Flame Burge or the Volcanic? I think at this point it doesn't even it doesn't really matter. Actually wait, yeah. We're gonna keep take we only have a thousand, we have to banish it. We're going to keep uh, taking damage. There's a delay, so... Uh, he could, it, could, it could be Nibiru. Sucks that I, I don't have a way to get an equip card. We could do Muckcracker. What up, Pop Off? Uh, the only fairy I have is a level 9, which sucks. Uh, oh, I still have a normal summon, though. Let's go. Normal summon. Uh, it's just Nib Nibiru, man. There's a big delay. I I'm hoping it's just Link Rebo. Okay, we got 30 seconds. We got to make things quick now.
We need to make a rank 9. We got 20 seconds to do this, bro. We got 20 seconds. We just gotta hope he ain't got a Nibiru. We have to activate this now. Because we have to steal. We gotta steal some shit. We gotta steal the level 1s. So Link Kribo doesn't come out. Uh, there's still a delay, so I think it's Nibiru. I got nine seconds. I don't know which one to to send to the grave. Equip that ash. Fuck. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We lost already. This game. Let me just surrender. There's the Nibiru. There was no way to OTK because of the Nibiru. Unfortunately. Why couldn't I? Like, was Muckracker not a choice? Like, I, I like I wasn't trying to make Appalooza. It's just because time was dwindling so quick. Like, I wanted to make a Muckracker, but I, I didn't see it. Am I just blind, or was it not an option? Muckracker was a choice. Okay, I just didn't fucking see it. Oh my god. Mm. So yeah, I was trying to make Muckcracker with uh, Chaos Angel, uh, and then banish, and then try to bring back Chaos Angel with my with Muckcracker. Um, still wouldn't have been OTK though, cause uh, we didn't have eight K of damage after Nibiru. We wouldn't have eight K, so like. Like, we just, we just, it was impossible. Oh, yeah. Like, I think I need to make a version of, I, need to, I think I need to make a new version of this deck. Where I add more Ben 10s. Like me, like honestly, I think I think triple Ohime, triple Ohime, maybe two Ben Tens, maybe two or three Ben Tens. Take away the um, Nadir servants, which means we could take this out and take out the the Albazoa. Triple up on that. Double. Maybe even triple. And then double up on the uh, Kagura. Or. Or. Uh, is there like a is there a hand trap that stops Nibiru?
When cards activate, it includes any effect of these. Adds a card. Special summons a monster from the graveyard. Banishes a card. Turning the purge. Ten point special summons. When your opponent special summons a face up monster, you can discard a card. Like, the only way is, like, cross out designator, but even then, we just have to hope to get lucky. Like, double Chaos Angel. Place through Nibiru. But Maxi and Nibiru, man. Freaking like there's like an eyelash in my eye or something. The only problem why, the only reason why, like, I, right now I can't play more than one Ben 10 is because there's only one way to tribute it, and that's by a ritual spell. If I had more ways to tribute monsters in my hand, I could play more, more Ben 10s. Um, and there's only one monster that comes to mind. It's this one. You can special summon this card from your hand by tributing a warrior. Or fairy from your hand or field. If this card's tributed for a ritual summon, add a ritual spell from the graveyard to your hand. Um, like I could I could just experiment with this right now. Two of these. The two of these. Which means I need might as well get two of these. Let's just try wait. Oh, I don't have a... Okay, generate. Let's test it out. Let's test it. I think it's going to be shit, but... Let's see. Because we have no way of searching it. It's a level 5 Earth Warrior. I'm sure there's like some card in the game that searches that. Um, Zolde can search it, but we can't use it the term we search it. Wait, what? I saved... Didn't I not save my deck? Oh, wait. I think I didn't take out Illusion of Chaos. I think we kept that. Oh, that's right. We contribute Diviner as well. Sword Swell. Uh, our hand is looking kind of musty. Uh, not looking good, man. Sovereign first? Was his hand that bad? Or, like, or it, yeah, his hand was, that's all he had. Okay. Bro, three in the back row? Okay, maybe this is like a, some weird, uh, variant of sorts all. Ash or call by? Cool. On myself? Awesome. On top of the deck with you. Um, we the call, Using call by on the Vishuda is pretty good. Um, can I Magician Souls a spell card that I get from Ohime? No, because my hand is dog shit. Well, I mean, we get the draw too, though. So, okay, what can I do right now? Oh, he may search Arabesque. It can, it can deal with uh, the Sword Soul, which would also probably kill one of his traps. The Blackout. Just essentially, he just can't use it anymore. Um... Yeah, arabesque is is all we got. 
Discard. Uh, we do want a normal summon Drit. Uh, I pff, Ash is gonna be if we don't OTK him, which I don't think we can with this hand. Ash is gonna be useful for the following turn. So whatever he top decks, boom, Ash. Uh. Magician Souls, maybe. Could also just ditch Ohime, but um, I can't recover it from the graveyard. There's no card that will like add it back to my hand. Yeah, but then we get the. We're already using one, so then we'll have nothing left. But yeah, Callbite is. All right, so now we're gonna bounce that ass, bounce that ass, bounce that ass, bounce that ass. Um, uh, this will give us a plus one. Get that shit out of my face, brother. Okay, so I know one of these. Okay, they're they're all still glowing though, right? Imperm, cool. He thinks we're playing Mikanko. He thinks we're playing pure Mikanko. We do miss out on a plus one, which kind of sucks, but it's okay because we got a, a normal summon, brother. Let's go grab us a Valkyrie. Um, do I grab Sest or Sigrun? There's a very good chance we can get Ritual Sanctuary, so I'm thinking grab the Sest. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's all, folks. There's no really no point in Magician Souls right now. Action call by. Action call by. Drinking my lemon water again. It's really good for a cut. It'll help satisfy your hunger for a bit. I ate like... My salad that I made was fucking 1,400 calories. Uh, if you don't face up non-fact monsters, you can show Target one of those destroyed monsters. Mm, cool. If it should have banished itself for cost, right? Uh, I think so. What up, Akito? Wait, he can. Wait, non effect. Oh, yeah, this is a discount. Thank you for follow C. William. William 07 just followed. Thank you for Thank that. You for Akito the as well. William 07. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Uh, we'll let Vashuda happen. Because, like, he doesn't really have any plays. Wait, he did have Blackout. He did have Blackout. Okay, we're going to banish this because if he top decks it, actually, he can't even use it. So I guess maybe we should have uh, banished the water one. Time to grind harder. That fasting is over. Uh, I, yeah, I decided instead of bulking. Thanks again for the follow, William. I, I decided instead of bulk. Wait, what? Okay, that yeah, that was a big misplay on my part. Uh, yeah, so instead of bulking, I'm just going to I'm going to go for a cut. I'm just gonna get rid of my fat, and honestly, it'll I'll still look good. Don't need to gain muscle to look good. Ooh, it's over, Diviner. We win. We win, brother. We win, brother. And look at that—he summoned right in the Anima Zone. But we're gonna be ditching. Sash. Uh. 
Uh, we're gonna be able to. S oh wait, we don't have an equip card. Um, I think we actually want to search Kagura. I think Kagura is the best choice. Mash one seven one six. Welcome back. But cutting is pain since you gotta eat much uh, healthier and less. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, I do, like, I, I got man boobs, so I gotta get rid of those. And my belly is pretty big. Uh, and I'm already noticing differences. I've already lost, like, four, four pounds. So I'm gonna keep it up. I, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look buff anyway, once I lose the fat. Because, like, I already have muscle underneath the fat. You just can't see it, because there's too much fat. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of Sesh because we have Magician Souls. I forgot. Um, Magician Souls. Special Summon. Man, my eyes are not feeling good right now. But, yeah, being on a cut sucks. Because, like I said, I, like, I just made a salad. And already... It's uh, at... Like it was fourteen hundred calories. Well, like th like third, I think like twelve fifty actually twelve fifty or like around fourteen hundred. And my my total calorie for the day is is like is like two thousand. So like <laughs> I only got six hundred calories left, which is actually kind of crazy. All right, we win here. People don't understand how much muscle you develop just by carrying a lot of fat on your body. Uh, especially like on your legs because you got to carry all of it and you're walking around with it all day um but like you still got to work out though uh ditch that like like if you're chubby but you work out like all you got to do is just lose the weight and you'll look you'll look good you'll look buffer oh they always go for the trias they always go for trias not the diviner we good. We Gucci, baby. Like when I when I work out, we have session in the graveyard. Yeah, so we can go sire. We can go egg instead. Uh, like I'm, I'm not fat, but like I do have like fat around, you know. Like I said, my my boobies and my belly, so I do look kind of like chubby ish, skinny fat, I guess. Uh, but when I work out, I look buff as shit. Like, I look, I look buff as fuck when I work out. Because uh, of the pump. You can discard one spell. No, we're going to do this. Bring that. Shuffle back. No, not the arabesque. We can... We'll probably tribute the two monsters in our hand. Oh, why the fuck did I summon that attack mode? It doesn't matter. We win. It's over. It's over, Joe. Oh, I'm just gonna search. Get rid of his ten, you monster. Make elf. Um, so we got 55 plus 3,000. That's game. Yeah, that's already game. He's like, what the fuck? That's it? I'm like, hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy boy. Give me, give me every card in your graveyard, buddy boy. Give me every card you got, buddy. Booyah. Hello, I got a question. What up? A summoner boy by that boy. I made a new account on Magidol. What is the best starter deck to buy three copies of? Nice, you're playing Magidol? Let's go take a look. It depends. Uh, It depends what you, what you like because uh, a couple of them are usable. 
or structure decks right here. So uh, off the bat, uh, I think the the Black Wings is probably the strongest. Uh, yeah. So Black Wings is probably the strongest, like strongest one. Ninjas, like, but like good. Even though Black Wings is like probably the best, like Black Wings is good. Um, like the Dark Magician could be good if you mix it with like Branded. Um, the Ninjas is good. Zombies could be good if you run some Floodgates. And this, I think this one uh, is, I think there's like a lot of like OTK. There's like a OTK version of this deck, right? I, but I don't know exactly which like cards are important to the OTK. So probably don't get this one. Uh, but yeah, that's my opinion. Um, the Dark Magician one, uh, it's okay. Like it's not bad. You do also get some really good cards like uh, Magician Souls. And Illusion of Chaos. And one copy of uh, Circle. Uh, does it give you that quick play card? Uh, they don't give you the one that lets you like stack your deck though, which is kind of shitty. But yeah, you'd have to like mix this with like a branded, uh, some branded support and it, it would be pretty good. How long is the Bugaska mate available? Wait, what? There's a time limit on that? I got 1,500 gems in 10 minutes for doing nothing. <laughs> it's blue eyes good. Um, it's not really doing much in Master Duel. I mean, you could still potentially OTK like with like any deck, right? You just play the right hand traps like Nibiru, Maxi, you know, and then you could like OTK with just about any deck. Um, but like if you want the like if you don't want to struggle as much. If you're going to pick structure decks, probably the Black Wings. But they also have like a burn strategy, so I don't know if you're a if you're a fan of that. But like if you want if you want to use blue eyes, you can go ahead. With the right hand traps, any deck can be viable, but you probably won't have a you probably won't have a good time using blue eyes. Like you'll you'll probably struggle a bit. Baguska is available for 7 hours. What? Really? They put a time limit on that? They're probably going to release it later, like, in the future, right? The Blue Eyes deck is missing too many pieces. Okay, if I buy three copies of Black Wings, what cards to use? Well, uh, I've never... I don't... I've never played Black Wings. Uh, but just by looking at it, uh, there's a lot of good cards. There's this one. Sh Sharnga. There's Vada. There's Zephros. Uh, there's Sudri. So these four are really good. Um, I don't know if they use Steam, but I know Steam's a good card. So that's five. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know what else they use. There's where's that level? There's a level five one they use. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? There's a level. F oh, this one. Samoon is good. So that's already six. Uh, I think Chinook they use as well. So that's seven. Uh, Zonda. I don't. Do they use Zonda? Can be spent from the extra deck. Once we do normal, you can target one monster in the field. Return to the hand. Master Guard from Graveyard, special one level 5 by higher black ones from your hand or deck. Um, I think this one's good. You'll need three black whirlwinds. You'll need three of these. So you only get one copy in the structure deck, but since you're getting three, that's fine. Uh, this one you need, I think, maybe one to two. Uh, they, they have a tr This trap is really good. I think you can activate from the hand. When a monster your opponent controls activates effects, send one face of black wing monster control their graveyard negate effect. And then destroy it, then if you special and then if you special summon, you can special summon one black wing dragon from your extra Yeah, this card is really good. If you control a black wing synchro or a black wing dragon, you can act this card from your hand. This card is nasty. So this card's really, really good. And you could also play Icarus Attack. It's not it's not necessary, but it's this is also a really good card. Um Can you link it? Yeah. Oh yeah, Master Duel Meta. Yeah, they got they got like all the info on all these decks but yeah those the cards i mentioned they're like the main the main cards uh this black wing is going to be your main boss monster this one is really good you're going to want uh, i think two to three maybe and then maybe one or two of these but the black wing deck is really good yeah so after you check out master's meta you'll you'll know what to do 
So tomorrow I'm finally get to spend my gems on the new cards. Like I kind of want the illusion cards. Also, make sure to check um, on that website which uh, secret packs you'll be needing as well. Because you'll have to like craft a card from the secret pack to get to try to pull some cards that maybe aren't in the structure deck. Like if you see like a deck on Master Meta that you don't like the cards you don't have that aren't in the deck that you want. Fuck, I need more water. Because you're definitely going to need hand traps. So you're going to be crafting those. Uh, what is this? Diviner in the opening hand, baby. That's all we need. Oh, we're not going first? God damn it. We opened up Souls and Illusion of Chaos. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bruh. Man, it sucks that I missed the uh, Hungry Burger uh, stuff in the shop. That's when I wasn't playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Konami did that shit on purpose, bro. Trying to win me back? Is that what I think it is? Bonfire? Alright, cool. I'm gonna go grab some water. I'll be right back. They won't even be done by the time I get back. Is that Rescue Ace? What? Oh come on, really? Rescue Ace? What are they what are they doing with, with Rescue Ace and freaking Oh Snake Eyes? I think I've only played against a Rescue Ace deck like once. So I don't know what like I don't know what to hit. I don't know what they're gonna do. I know this card can like set a bunch of cards from the deck or something. Which is kind of fucking nasty, bro. If you control Rescue Ace Monster, you can target the. Uh, you can activate a quick play filter that was set. During the main phase, you can add Rescue Ace from the extra hand. Banishing what? What did he just banish? Banish Rescue Ace from the main phase, you can set up to four Rescue Ace quick play spell trap, normal traps, uh, different names directly from your deck. If another card you control leaves the field, the target one card in the field, destroy it. By opponent's card effect. Oi, 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 dude, are you serious? Uh, if you control a rescue ace monster, target one effect monster your opponent controls. This turn the effect monster kind of attack also needs to be. Okay, so they automatically get to search and negate. Okay, so they have one negate. It's monster negate only, though. They have this. Target rescue monster graveyard. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard instead. Uh, I guess we will call by the grave that. Rescue Ace Hydrant. Because they they want Hydrant on the field. Because like I think it like gives their cards extra effects if it's on the field. And then they have this one. If you control a Rescue Ace monster, target one effect monster, controls, destroy it. Yeah, okay, so they have one negate and they have one uh, pop. There's the ash. Okay, cool. Uh, and now we pretty much lose because now we, we can't, like, we can't even special summon Magician Souls. Like, man, that's so shitty. They're going to either negate or pop this and then we just lose.
Like, man. Like, opening up you. Bro. We literally opened up two dead cards in our hand. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, his board wasn't even that impressive. What up, Lethal? Uh, you can you can uh, whisper me whisper me on Twitch, Summoner's War fanboy. And then I'll uh, send you the Discord, my Discord link. What up, Tiana? Okay, so we got Diviner. But we... Okay, now if this gets negated, we can still Normal Summon. So let's activate it. Mill the Ash. I guess that's good because if we don't open up with Ash, like we're not going to use it most likely. Okay, they took the Ash Bait. So we still keep our normal summon. And we'd rather we'd rather this get Ashed than uh, Preparation of Rights. Rescue Ace support. I just we just played against res uh, Rescue Ace. Oh dude. The Maxi, what do I do? Okay, um uh, what we're gonna do is um we can't go with diviner we're gonna do we're just gonna make him a conco board we just we can't play under maxi um they will get to draw one card though grab that ditch that Wait, what? Wait, I I can't normal summon? Wait, they asked this though. Bro, how come we got to normal summon before? Bro, I could have sworn. Oh, you know what? Ash doesn't negate the activation of a card. When, when a card effect is activated, negate that effect. Okay, that's why. Oh my god. Okay. It, it, maybe I just got confused with another card negating my spell card. It mustn't have been Ash. Ash doesn't negate the activation of cards. Ash just negates the effect, which means I still activated uh, that fucking spell card, I guess. No, the support. Uh, yeah, the support comes tomorrow. Like, I thought it was going to be here already, but it drops at midnight. Man, yeah. So that was my fuck up. We could have, we could have actually, at least had something on our field. Now we might just get OTK'd. There, there I go again, losing to my fucking memory. Your YouTube stream said it's here already. No, I said uh, announced. It says uh, Mikonko support announced. No clickbait. I have no clickbait. Man, I really fucked up. Um, but then, if this wasn't Ashed, then Preparation of Rights would have got Ashed. Which means we wouldn't have Ohime and we wouldn't have... Uh, uh, Arabesque. So we'd have to Normal Summon Diviner. And then maybe just set, set Trias to the Graveyard. And then uh, pass, maybe. 
What up, I Welcome back. No, I'm going I'm going second. He's gonna OTK me. <laughs> Ultimate Tyranno? Yeah, he just sets them all face down. So it bypasses uh it bypasses uh the green one which makes them not targetable. It bypasses the equips. Just it'll literally just destroy all the equips once you set all the Mikankos. Disgusting. Actually, wait, but not the ritual, right? Because it can't be destroyed by... Actually, no, it does. Yeah, it bypasses the rituals as well. Just got back from Dallas, spent 90-something at a card shop. Uh-oh. From Oklahoma? Good old Texas? Dallas, Texas? We're so cooked? Oh, we're, we're already fried. We're already deep fried, brother. We are gone. $90 American is like... It's like a hundred and something, like probably like 150, 140 Canadian, like around there. I'm from Canada. Wait, is that an ambulance? It says uh, somebody called the ambulance. It's cool. Honestly, Ultimate Terminator would uh, break me conkles. Oh, I, already I already read that. I just read that shit twice. OTK how? Yeah. So Tyranno. When it, I think like when it declares an attack or if it's just a quick effect, I forget. But it has an effect where it sets th all the monsters on one field. Oh, you're. Oh, never mind. You meant uh, how it's gonna OTK me? Yeah, because I just had to pass. I didn't do anything. But yeah, Tyranno's nasty card. Baron. Untargetable Baron. There's still uh there's still Dino support that hasn't hit Master Duel yet. Uh unless I just missed it. There's like a there's a Dino that can search field spells. It's a fusion though. It's a fusion. Uh also Konami just announced a new a new card that can search field spells. It's a it's a monster. It's a retrain of Cosmo Queen. Where like if there's a field spell on the field, you can special summon it. And then you can choose to either pop your own field spell to search another field spell, or you can negate your opponent's field spell to search a field spell from your deck. I think it'll I think it'll be pretty good. But it, it needs a field spell already though. So like if there's not already a field spell on the field, it's kinda trash. Like it's dog shit. They just need to bring back terraforming, bro. They just need to instead just make it terraforming with a cost. Make it like a make it like a search uh, one uh, field spell from your deck to your hand, and then discard like I don't know one spell card, or like discard two cards, search one field field spell from your your deck, or some shit like that. Pay three thousand life points, search a field spell. I don't know something. Yes, but those monsters suck. It was clean at one though. Apparently, apparently Konami thought otherwise. I miss terraforming. <laughs> uh, this deck needs terraforming. Oh, that reminds me. I, I need to put Foolish Burial in this deck. This deck needs Foolish Burial as well. And I can't believe I haven't been using it. Like, I literally can't believe I have not been using Foolish Burial. I've been slacking. I need to put that in my deck tomorrow today just shotgun maxi e. why did he shotgun maxi e when i could still ash it why he did that never got to play terraforming how collateral damage from tears i'm upset i don't have the uh, fusion mate base is that... Did you miss it? Is it like uh, for a limited time? Oh, was it... This was an event? I think it was the event, right? The fusion event? Um, we will... Uh, yeah, activate this now. It sucks that I got to get rid of this already. It's kind of a dead card anyway because I didn't open up any spells. I 
I hate frame one maxi players. Frame one? What's that? But now we can actually finally make Leviathan with uh, three materials. Let's find out what deck they're playing. Trouble Tactics, nice. Ash, nice. He got the oh, he got the alternate with the feet. I don't know why Konami made that. What the fuck were they thinking? I could also tribute three and draw one. But I wonder if I would need to destroy a card though. I've never tested that before. I don't know if I would have to I would need to like destroy a card in order to draw two. It's optional? Cool. So yeah, we could have Wait. We could have we could have we could have just we could have done that. We could have drawn we could have drawn two. Which is uh kind of crazy. We kind of fucked up there. But this could potentially be enough. This this one card could potentially be enough to like break his entire board unless he has imperm. Imperm effect veiler. Frame one, in other words, I hate it when players just play maxi off of the rip, like a point did. Oh, my eyes, man. Uh, cool. I might have to put on my, my sunglasses. Zone, then you can decrease or decrease level. Okay. I'm not too sure when is the best time to activate this. But we'll find out. Um, once per chain, when a monster, you can see. That's fine. This doesn't stop us. This does not stop me. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. What what is he doing? Which does he have two effects? Huh? Uh, you can uh, once per chain when a monster card your opponent controls activates effect. If you just want to attach, once per, what, what effect is he activating? What did he just do? Oh, with this? Once per turn, you can target one card in the field, shuffle one dark, uh, destroy it. Oh, what the fuck? So he he gained he gained an, an effect. Uh, you'll be able to I think chain. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, it's over, dude. God damn it. It's not looking good. We ain't get to do shit. Look at all the shit in our graveyard and for nothing. Unchained. He's playing on. He's actually playing unchained. You can add an unchained monster from your deck to your hand. Come on, brother. Okay, so this is actually an Unchained deck with a DDD engine, just to play this, maybe? What's your end board uninterrupted? It's pretty it's pretty nasty. So I got Elf, that points to an IP Mascarena, 
and the level nine you just saw. And then I have a Nini equipped it with an uh, equip card. And then I think I can also squeeze one Ohime in there as well. Uh, I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, also with Diviner in the graveyard. So Elf would bring back Diviner, which would turn into another interruption, which could be a pop, which is uh, Milna Test for a pop. So basically, it's um, Nini Steel, uh, one monster, and then we got we can make a Goddess, to, so that's stealing two of their monsters, um, using IP, and then we have uh, monsters that are untargetable with Elf, and then we have one pop with the Nates, and then we're stealing two cards, either from their field or graveyard. It's just to make Zeus. Zeus on the loop. We're getting, bro, we're getting OTK like every game, man. Oh, yeah. And then we have Trias in the graveyard, so that could potentially be another pop. So, our, like, our end board is, is pretty good. It's just, I I just can't make it consistently, which is kind of shit. I'm testing this card right now, and I haven't even drawn it yet. Because there's no way to search it. But you know what's kind of crazy? Is that this plus Ben 10 gives me Diviner, which like gives me my whole deck. Maybe I, maybe I need to run three because there's no way to search this card. So like I'm just never going to see it. Okay, what do I take out? I guess I'll take out one... Kagura. Let's let's try it at three. Let's see how that works. Oh, I need to take a piss. I've been drinking so much water because uh, I, I ate too much food. So like I'm already almost up to my calorie intake. I gotta survive till after stream. Let's see what I got room for. Oh yeah, that reminds me. At Costco, there's, like, bro, if you guys like beef jerky, there's, like, beef jerky, but for chicken. And, like, per five pieces, is only 70 calories and 8 grams of protein. Like, this shit is amazing. I got to keep track of how much I eat, though. This shit is good. Bro, I put it in my deck and I brick on it. Come on, brother. Wait, what? Bro, I forgot that. Bro, no way. I forgot to take this out of my deck. We're playing with with a dead card. Oh, my God. Eh, who's that? Was that Vaults? Vaults is the only one who plays that. Bro, man. We, we didn't take dog the Dogmatic original spell out of a deck, man. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. And we finally opened up Tutu Bond, and we don't have anything to... Uh, hopefully, we draw something, though, to use it with. All right, we're going to ditch the dead card and the equipped card. But yeah, the chicken beef jerky, man. This shit is amazing. Oh, bro. Yo, look at the draw. Let's go, dude. Nasty draw, dude. Let me just have a bite first. They're spicy. It's spicy. We do want a normal summon it, though. Actually, first let's do this. Now we can just add back uh, the Magician Souls so that we can use it again later. We won't be able to special summon it, but we could potentially normal summon. Okay, so now we have Nini. So here's our first interruption. Also, we summoned it in the wrong spot. We want to summon it right here. All the way to the other end. Okay, that's two pieces. What up, Vault?
Was that was that two or three? I think that was two pieces, right? This is the third. All right. See what they're playing. Come on, bro. It's okay. We got called by. You are kidding me, man. <laughs> That's literally the worst tier to mill. Uh, this is the fourth piece. Whitewood. Yeah, I might cook something with them. Now we're going to make IP Masquerina. What? Welcome back, Elite. Okay, this is my fifth piece. So this is five pieces already. Alright, Lethal. You might see our end board. Now we make uh, Elf. Whoa. My computer just kind of fucked. Wait, where am I at? Am I at five pieces? I'm at five pieces, right? Bring back Diviner. I just ate five pieces, right? I didn't eat six. Um. Oh, we misplayed. Oof. We were supposed to link off Nini. Shit. Okay, we fucked up. That was five pieces. Okay, bro, we were supposed to link off Nini because we have uh fucking the this in the graveyard. So this would just bring Nini back. Wow. Okay, so I missed. We we missed out on one interruption. So now we don't have Nini steal anymore. I fucked up so bad. I think I was just distracted from eating. I need to take a piss. That was your sixth, but let's say five. No, we got to be exact. Guys, was that really five pieces? Lethal says five, but Spindy says six. Kind of excited to see what's in store for uh, new illusion type monsters. Um, I'm sure they're going to be cracked in the future. Super poly. Damn. Roll back in the graveyard? Oh, come on, dude. So he's going to take my Sprite Elf and Leviathan. Uh, he, he just got rid of... Uh, he just got rid of uh, two interruptions right there. Okay, guys. Was that five or six? Because I'm going to eat one more. We're going to say six. Okay. So we just kind of lost now. Probably. Because I fucked up. And I can't target water monsters now. You forgot about my call by the grave. So that's seven. It's a good snack, man. Like jerky, jerk chicken. Spicy jerk chicken. Muy bueno. 70 calories for those five pieces. 70 calories, 8 grams of protein. I only have like room for like 500 calories. So those 70 is clutch, bro. Clutch. There's a delay. See, like right now, we could have stole, we could have stole Mud Dragon, or the Rhino Heart. This is eight.
I'm gonna write that down. Eight. So then ten is gonna be one forty calories. I also have room for a little bit more food. I'm trying to be like Z for real. What up, type? Okay, so this is um, so now this is the tenth piece, so one forty. Yeah, that's all he did because we we called by Rhino Heart. He's got rollback in the grave. It's gonna be really annoying. He can copy his 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 um his imperms and uh uh, tear trap. Been working out. I'm on a cut right now, so I'm keeping track of my calories. Which uh, let me just add these uh, jerky chickens in. Chicken bites. Uh, so yeah, I got 492 calories left for today. Uh, this is yeah, chicken bites. Cerberus, he's gonna pop, little bitch. Uh, so ten pieces, so yeah. So one forty calories, sixteen grams of protein, baby. So I have room for three hundred and fifty calories. It's not a lot, but I'm already at hundred grams of protein for today. So I guess maybe a protein shake. That'll be like around fifty grams of protein, and then uh, maybe uh, some Gatorade and some pickles, and. Maybe a couple more uh, chicken bites. Yeah, it's it's hard to get so much protein. So that's uh, that's when when the shakes come in uh, clutch. All right. So first, oh, we could steal this with Anima. Let's do that first. Let's normal summon. Book of Moon. Okay, good. Took the bait. Normal summon. We don't need. Uh, we are going to. We're actually gonna grab this because we don't want to draw it. We're just gonna thin our deck. Send that shit to the graveyard. Hopefully they don't fuck up. Ritual sanctuary. Nice, dude. All right, it's GG's. It's G to G's. I gotta take a mad piss. Uh, we are going to bring back a Diviner. Yes, Diviner. Oh, wait. I only play one Trias. Oh, my God. I forgot. We only play one, man. That was a, that was a big fuck up. Can I even tribute it? Dude, we only play one, so I haven't. I don't have one to mill anymore. Oh, I play two. Thank God! Holy shit! I put I put it back in. Thank God! Oh my God! I, I took it out at first, and I guess I put it back in without realizing. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go, dude. It's over. Wonder what that face down is though. Now we can make Anima again, and then just steal the monster. Uh, we'll bring back the level 1, so we can make a Chaos Angel. Uh, I don't want to mill, don't want to mill, don't want to mill. Anima. Anima, Anima. I'm a digging the Anima. I'm a digging the Anima. Anima. Zero. Na 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 da da da. Na 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 na. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's the right choice, right choice. Okay. Mm, Banish. Okay. 
Muckcracker will give us an extra 1,000 damage. Right now we're at 7,000? Yeah, that's game. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I can't use face downs. Okay, never mind. That's not game. Uh... We'll also just activate this. We'll grab Nini. So now, if he does make a comeback, which he's not, we can just steal the monster. What up, Jay? Could mess up your plays. I'm trying to see you cook. <laughs> I have to. I, I have to take a piss. I was holding in my piss. That's why. <laughs> what up, Jay? Hold on. I'll be right back. So I also bought, bro, Costco's a, a lifesaver when it comes to like cutting and bulking. Cause I also got uh, the G, the Gatorade that has like uh, no sugar or whatever. The G, what is it called? G two, G zero, bro. A whole bottle is like five calories for the lemon flavor, and then ten calories for the rest, which is crazy, bro. Crazy, dude. And it tastes amazing. It's a lifesaver when you're cutting, man. Is there also in-game... Uh, I can eat the... Uh... Is there also in the game... I eat the world on cards? I don't know what the... I don't know what you're trying to say. But welcome to the stream, Jaxus. I can give you a lemon flavor. Uh, probably tastes like fucking... Shit. Uh, okay, let's see. So Cyber 2-2 two, two contribute Diviner in the hand, but we don't need to do that. Uh, oh, he may search. Okay, so we have Ben 10. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do this first. We're going to search Ben 10. It's going to be salty, though. <laughs> There's a delay. Ash, should I dare you? Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, so Ben 10's gone. So now we Oh, he may. Uh, we will grab Arabesque. And we will ditch 2-2. Because now 2-2 two -two is useless. Oh, yeah. Um, ritual Sanctuary. We don't want to ditch this. Okay. So no Ritual Sanctuary. Uh, so we can't dodge Imperm though. Nice. Don't need to. Get rid of that. Does Tutu also tribute monsters on the field? Yeah, hand or field, which is pretty good. It's not a quick effect though. So we can't we can't use it to dodge imperm. Wait, actually technically we can. Wait, it doesn't need to be a quick effect. So we st we lose diviner's first effect, but we can still tribute diviner. So yeah. So technically, yeah, two two still works. Pretty good, pretty good. Hand or field. 
So now we're going to do Drit. Drit into Siggy. We're going to link. Okay, first we're going to mill. Please don't be tears again, son of a bitch. Uh, heroes. We're going to make uh, IP Mask of the Reina. We are going to... Oh, we were supposed to arabesque first. Whoopsies! If I ditch arabesque, grab the ritual spell. No. Uh, let's do this. Now, we'll activate the second effect. Bring back Cess by shuffling this. Okay, it's still fine. We can still do the arabesque play. So now we do arabesque. Bounce the Sesh back to my hand. And then grab uh, Nini. Yeah, Nini for the interruption. This would grab us another equip, which is also a good choice. But the interruption is better since we already have our like we already have a good board, so we don't we don't need like additional cards. Uh, so now we have there's our first interruption, and then now we get rid of the ritual sanctuary. Summon that. Bring back the drip from the grave, and then now we're gonna make elf. With this and this over here. Over Dur? Yeah! Okay, I could have sworn I saw a delay. Uh, now we make this. I swear that wasn't just me. I saw a delay. <laughs> it was the shortest delay in the history of Master Duel. Um, and then we're going to bring back Diviner. And then this is our end board. As soon as he summons a monster... Ow! My fucking knee! I just hit my knee. As soon as he summons a monster, we bring back IP Mascarena. And then we chain Nini. So we steal the monster he summons. And then using IP and the mon and Nini from stealing his monster, we can make whatever we want. We're most likely going to go into a goddess. So we'll wait for him to summon more monsters. And then he just scoops. Okay. So you guys didn't get to see... <laughs> Didn't get to see it, but it happens. Trust me. Uh, this guy needs to retrain. Valks need to retrain. <laughs> He's like, shit, I am breaking that board. Okay, so anyways. Uh, I got room for 350 calories. Okay, I might as well input my protein shake now. If I could find it. Let me input it now so I know what I have room to eat. Um, okay, this hand. This hand works. As long as we don't get ashed. If this gets ashed, we're fucked. Not by myself, though. So we're actually not going to search for Ohime. If we search for Ohime... Our hand is gonna is gonna be shit. We're gonna search for Ben Ten, and then we're gonna tribute Ben Ten with the Cyber Tutu Bond in our hand. So Cyber Tutu is gonna. Oh yeah. Also, it special summons itself. Tribute Ben Ten to special summon it. So now it's gonna trigger Ben Ten, and then that's gonna search Diviner. So now we have all our plays, uh, and then we can add Tutu back to our hand. Uh, which is what I'm going to do. So that we can potentially tribute it again. So like if we get impermed. If we get impermed bro. If Diviner gets impermed. We have to do back in our hand. And we can activate it again. Because it's not a once per turn. We can literally activate it again right now. Alright now we normal summon. So now we have our first interruption. Nini just steal a monster. Uh, now we mill Trias. 
And now we just do standard Valk plays. I could even just keep keep it in the grave. And then just activate 2-2 two -two again. Jacob 2-2. Two -two. Um, yeah, Sashed. We're going for the Valk plays. Special summon, and then this is going to summon the Drit from my hand. And then we're going to search another Sigrun. Uh, let's find out what deck they're playing. Call by and triple tax. Don't even, don't even know. Don't even know, bro. You don't know these plays, bro. Okay, so I can't do IP into Elf because we just don't have enough monsters. Um, I mean, I could tribute the Sigrun in my hand to summon Cyber Tutu, which actually, you know what? Yeah, that might be the better play. So we'll tribute these two. Having Elf on the field is... Is, is going to be really clutch. Uh, so now we'll summon back Cyber Tutu by tributing the one from my hand. And then now we can make Elf with IP and Tutu with Jacob Tutu. And then I'll just, this is pretty much the exact same end board we had last, last duel. And we got the rank 9. Summon it over there. And then we're going to hope they have uh, just as a bad of a memory I have. And we'll summon this here. And they'll think that the equip card is equipped to uh, Diviner instead of uh, Nini. Cool. And we got Ash. Why not uh, summon Sigrun from the hand instead? Uh, because there's no way for me to get back my equip card. Because we don't have Ohime on the field. So if I get rid of my equip without any way of bringing it back on the field, Nini doesn't do anything. Nini doesn't have the steel effect. It needs to be equipped, or else it doesn't get its uh, equi uh, steel. Also, we we can't burn. It needs to be equipped to to burn. If I had the other equip in the grave, I definitely would, because then we just bring back Nini and re-equip. Uh, we don't ash this. Oh, wait. It depends. It depends. Is this search Rhino Heart? Okay, it's a hero deck. That's the normal summon. Thrust. Kermit Thrust. Thrust. Uh, that was a pretty big delay. Which tells me... The fact that he took that long... First, we're gonna, we're gonna activate Elf so we can summon IP Masquerina back. Second... Oh, we can't Ash anymore. I fucked up. We're supposed to Ash first. It's okay. I, I won't Ash this. I was going to ash it, but I think this is it's better that I didn't. That's not what I expected. <laughs> you should redeem all the other ones. Ash the increase. Ferris, yeah, Ferris um gives the uh gets him increase and then increase gets him um something. I forget what it is, but it gives him something. Vion. Vion, yeah. He's got a hero. Had a shadow miss in his hand. Um, I'm thinking of... We still have Steel, steel 2. Vion is a, is a good stop. Place 1 Vision Hero. Okay. We could Ash this... And then just steal Ferris and increase. We don't need to ash it. Oh, wait. But no, isn't... 
We have to chain in response. We still have Nini. So, like, I don't think it really matters when, because we still have Nini. We could just steal. But he does tribute, I think, for cost. So then we won't be able to steal. Okay, I'm going to wait. This is all bait. Uh, we can rank 9 the increase. So we can ash this and leave the increase. I think I'm, I'm going to wait for now. Because I have no idea what to hit. So increase we can... Let's see. He can respond to us. So we're going to wait. We're going to let him do increase first. Tribute on hero monster. Yeah, tributing is a cost. Right? Is it not? If it's not a cost. Oh, stealing doesn't matter because he can tribute any hero. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, what? I can't ash this? Isn't he special summoning? Wait, why can't I ash this? Uh, during the main phase, tribute on hero monster. Oh, he's spe oh no no he's special summoning himself, and then when he special summons himself, then he searches. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll let we'll let that happen. We'll we'll ash, we'll ash the increase. Now they're probably they're probably gonna make a link and then we'll just steal the link. They're probably gonna link into uh, that dude because we still have one steal into a goddess, which is gonna be two steals, and then we still have um. Actually, we got we got way more than that. Okay, what's he what what hero is gonna add? Can he add a hero that like tribute? What's he gonna add? We know he has the water one. An elemental hero. Is it maybe a fusion material? Yeah, Neos. Okay. Does he have like a fusion card in his hand? Because we can't we can't stop that. If he wants to fusion summon, he he's gonna fusion summon. Let's just hope it doesn't have like a nasty effect when he summons it. We can't stop this. So we know he's got Neos, the water. So there's two cards in his hand. We don't know what they are. He's going to draw two. Sunrise. He's going to be able to add Miracle Fusion and draw two cards. Ooh. Okay. Um, I will... I will steal the increase. I mean, the sunrise. So that way he can't pop anything when he declares an attack. And now my monsters get the boost. I hope that was the right. I don't know if that was the right play or not. We still have uh, the, our rank 9 and IP into Goddess. Does the steel negate? Uh, it depends. If we steal his fusion materials, like right now, like we could steal his his targets. Like if we know what he's gonna make, I could steal I could steal his targets, which would essentially stop miracle fusion. But I don't know what he's gonna make though. I think Neos. I think Neos is a safe bet, right? Like we should probably steal the um, Neos from the graveyard. Cause like I honestly don't know what he's what he's gonna make. But this one only make I think from the graveyard. Yeah, field and graveyard. So we, this could potentially resolve for no effect. Uh, 
so the Neos for sure, 100%. Um, and we have to steal something from the graveyard. Uh, probably the, maybe the Destiny Hero Denier. Because it has a graveyard effect. Let's just hope. Let's hope, dude. He could, he, like, he, even though he still has a target, we could have potentially still hit his target. He just has more different options in his, uh, his extra deck. Okay, so he banished these two to make absolute zero. Okay. That's a problem. Uh, there's no way for us to stop that. <laughs> That's going to pop uh, everything that we don't make with IP Mascarena. Shit. Wait, did he have three monsters? Wait, everything's negated though, so uh, I can't do anything. He he pops his own monster though. Oh wait, I forgot about. Okay, we kind of misplayed. I forgot about fucking absolute zero i was supposed to activate my trash from the graveyard and tribute my diviner damn that sucks if we knew what we was gonna make we could have easily banished the water okay we're fucked yeah we're, we're cooked yeah but i couldn't i couldn't make goddess though because ip was negated already like as soon as plasma hit the field, everything was negated. I couldn't chain. The only my only option was actually tributing the diviner of Harold, which would have gave me an extra body on board. But there's still nothing really we could do. <sighs> Let's see. Um, he's not gonna OTK me, I believe. But I don't think there's like one card that can like help me right now. Ah oh, shit! He's gonna end up with a mass change, dude. Oh my god! And on top of that, end off with mass change into Dark Law. That's GG's. That's GG's. It's over. He broke my board. Only because we didn't know what to hit, though. Uh, Zilly was saying to make Goddess with Absolute. I was thinking that, but then it was, it was going to destroy everything. It wouldn't have destroyed Goddess. That's... It wouldn't have destroyed Goddess and Elf. But everything else would have been destroyed. So I was like, I wanted to wait. But the Plasma... The Plasma kind of got me. But yeah, we, we should have made Goddess with the, with the Absolute Zero. Because Goddess would be destroyed because we make it with IP. And Elf, we already made Elf with IP. So it also wouldn't be destroyed. Uh, Nini also is not destroyed by card effects thanks to equip card. So we would have lost our XYZ uh, Diviner. Yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, that, that we should have we should have done that. Keenan Charles, welcome to the stream. Uh, but. Oh, yeah, Nini's negated. Fuck. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm dead. He also has a pop too, so he can pop the equip card and that's GG's. Damn. Oh, that's rough. This guy's still going, man. Oh my fucking god. Damn. So yeah. We could have stolen the water so he couldn't make absolute zero so if he doesn't make absolute zero does he have a target we don't know now we'll never know he had he bro he opened plasma he didn't search plasma at all he literally opened that shit lucky number thank you for the follow he didn't search at all the lucky number just follow thank you for the follow 55 the lucky number welcome to the stream like he he had plasma he, i don't remember him searching that at all uh, but the mass change, he, he also opened up mass change. 
So, but if he made Dark Law, that wouldn't have mattered. There's nothing he could have done with a Dark Law. What up, Ruff? What deck is this? Set 2? Interesting. Our hand is kind of doo-doo. Our hand is, do like, real dog shit. Like, we don't have any plays. Max C. Pfft, yeah, like, bro, our, our hand is so bad, I'm just not even going to negate that. I'm just going to set pass just like him. Back in Uh We will activate this, though. Yeah. I'm kind of regretting it, though. This fucking game is pissing me off. Ash? Cool. I wasn't going to do anything with the souls anyway. Uh, like, I'm literally just going to set pass. Like, we don't, we don't fucking have anything. I could special summon this, but we're under maxi, so we're just going to set. We're going to see a lot of rescue ace soon. Is the new support that good? Just one card? Another hero player! The fact that he's activating this, if we ash it, I think he'll just pass. Okay, anyways, I was supposed to be calculating my calories. Yeah, so one scoop, one protein shake is only 149 calories. So if I, if I double that... That's 78 grams. That's 66 grams with about 299 calories. Yeah, that's it. I got room for 50 calories. So that, that's enough for some pickles and some Gatorade. Uh, okay, we drew preparation. Okay, cool. We're back in business. We're back in this hole, baby. Uh, we'll do this first again. Preventer and emergency. What up, Penguin God Frog? Welcome back. I do hero uh, than all the uh, Labyrinth I've been dueling nonstop. Oh, yeah, 100%. Hero definitely over Labyrinth. I fucking hate Labyrinth. Uh, on top of the deck. We will activate this. Grab Ben 10. Uh, let's see. Do we want to grab Ohime? No. Uh, grab ben 10 will give us Diviner, which is our main play. If we grab Ohime, we could grab Arabesque and do some Mikanko plays, but Benten's better. So now we will tribute Benten and summon this. Tribute the Benten. That'll search Diviner. I like heroes, but I also dislike them. The fact that they end on Macrocosmo, the skill drain, and you can't play spells, basically floodgates. Yeah, that, that's also true. That's that's a pain in the ass. I still prefer them over Labyrinth, though. Uh, so we add the Diviner. Now we Normal Summon. Cool. So we have our we have our end board. We're gonna mill the triad. We are now going to let's see if I tribute. Oh yeah, we got bro, we got two fairies. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna flip Sesh. We're gonna mill the deck. See if it's just like there's an engine or is it actually hero hero player. Oh come on, tears, really? Okay, we got lucky though. We didn't mill anything crazy. All right, we're going to tribute two fairies to get a pop and trigger diviner. Man, if Cyber Tutu was a fairy, ooh, brother. Pop the face down. Sully, yeah, cool. Uh, did we trigger something though? This card is on the graveyard. You can add one tier elements monster from your deck to your hand. Ah, shit. Okay, so he got a surge. Prank Kids returned. Prank, prank Kids was annoying when it was meta. Just like every freaking meta deck. Okay, so we got Havnis. Um, 
That's a that's that's a fucking piss off. All right, instead of summoning Sesht, we're going to summon Egg instead. That'll give us Ritual Sanctuary. Uh, but we're got, we're gonna be triggering his monster now. Please be get unlucky. Please mill dog shit. Please, please mill absolute shit. Oh my fucking god, brother! I hate this deck so much. Yeah, fucked up volcanic OTK deck as well. I thought volcanics were cool up until they fucking burned all my fucking life points in like uh, two turns. Bro, how are we this unlucky, man? Oh my god. If we didn't mill the two uh, top two cards of the deck, we wouldn't be in this situation. And now we, we gave them fucking snow. And uh, some fucking fusions. Now they're playing on my turn. God damn it. What do they think they are? Goaty? The only good deck that plays on your opponent's turn? What up, OVAP? It's not looking good. If you're using tuners, Chaos Angel will be coming clutch. I, I do I do play Chaos Angel. I play two. I have played two in this deck. Also, you don't need tuners. You can make Chaos Angel without tuners. Oh, got, got some cash tier in there as well. <laughs> yeah, mill the fucking ash and the poly. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> Let's go, brother. All right. Um, so we can go immediately into elf, which is what we're gonna do. Get some protection. Some protect. Is that a fucking Nibiru? No, it's no. It's the snow in the graveyard. Um, um, now we're going to activate Virgil Sanctuary. We're not going to activate Elf yet. We could wait to activate Elf. We're going to shovel back the only spell in our grave to bring back the Sesh from our graveyard. That's going to summon a bunch of hoopity hoopla. Um, I kind of want to keep Ritual Sanctuary on the field. But man, we're missing out on some advantage not summoning Drit first. And we're gonna we're gonna need all the advantage we can get going against tears for a zoom meeting. Okay, Mister Businessman. Two years. Time moves quick, man. Add this cigarette to our hand. All right. Let's see. Here's the first. Wait. Do we want to go Chaos Angel right now? No. We don't want to go Chaos Angel right now. Let's activate Elf. We already activated both of their effects. So it doesn't really matter who we summon. It don't matter who we summon. What I am going to do though. Let's catch him by surprise. And just... I think I should go Appalooza immediately. I think I should make an Appalooza. He's got one card in hand. Wait. Why can't I use Elf? Oh, Elf can't be used. Yeah, that's right. Elf can't be used as Link Material to turn it summoned. Shit. Okay, maybe I summon Magician Souls. We'll summon Magician Souls. So we don't have to use Elf. Dweller? What up, V? Uh, ooh, a Herald of Arclight? I would love to make a Herald of Arclight. But uh, Appalooza just bu uh, built different. All right, so we now now we have an untargetable four material Appalooza. So now we can stop the snow. 
now we're going to get rid of the ritual sanctuary summon sigrun which is going to bring back another valk so now look at all this advantage baby look at the cards dude summon the level one just because it's a uh, higher defense and now we'll make chaos bro i thought out wait why does it say turn four this is turn four? Oh shit. This is seriously turn four? Ah shit. Okay, hold on. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Chaos Angel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, Chaos Angel. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Bro, what, what have I been doing? This is turn four? Are you crazy? Are you s for cereal? Now he summons snow? Timer? Yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna get used to it. It happens a lot. Uh, yeah. Negate. Get shit on nerd. <laughs> Bro, like, I I thought it was like t I thought I was <laughs> like going first. I thought that was the first turn of the duel. <laughs> Yo, my memory is fucked, dude. I got ADHD by the way, so it is what it is. I'm also very tired right now. So yeah, I got room. I literally only have, so far, I've already eaten 1,997 calories today. I got room for 50 calories. That's it. <laughs> that was on a different duel. I got room for 50 calories after my protein shake, though. So after my protein shake, I'm at 174 calories for the day, which is good. That's my calorie. That's already above my calorie goal. So then I got room to drink a Gatorade and eat some pickles. There's like four calories in a single pickle. And there's only like five to ten calories in the Gatorade. So that's already like nine to like 15 calories. So, And then after that, I got room for 40 more calories. I don't know what I'm going to eat with 40 calories though. Probably just some vegetables. Am I on a diet? No, I'm, just, I'm on a cut. So I'm on a cut. I'm trying to lose some body fat. And get buff. So far, I've lost like four pounds. Today's, I am I resting today? I I took a rest day yesterday. I'm thinking of doing a rest day today as well. Yo, my hands are freezing, like they're so cold, and it's actually uh helping, like putting them on my eyes, cause like my eyes are burning. Okay, so we got Kalbai and Ash, which is pretty amazing. Uh, we definitely don't need the Mikanko Kagura, so we'll ditch that. Discard a spell. Um, bro, I keep forgetting. I, I still have this shit in my deck. I didn't take it out yet. Oh my god, dude. We're playing with 39 cards right now. Holy fuck. Uh, we'll still grab the Ohime, though. But there's nothing to discard though, so unless I like I discard Ohime. Because we do play two. Yeah, I'll just discard itself. To g grab the arabesque. Normal summon. I just bought myself some gym equipment, I feel you. Yeah, I got like a home gym as well. Uh, I got like the barbell and like a lot of weights and a bench. I've eaten nothing but peanut butter and jelly sandwiches today. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, activate, yeah. Peanut butter sandwiches are good. 
Got myself two kettle weights, a jump rope, and adjustable chair for pull-ups and lifting. Bro, I have a pull-up uh, bar, and I never use it. I've been I've been really slacking on the the body weight stuff to be honest. Like I should be doing it. I should be doing push-ups and pull-ups. But I've been just uh I guess too busy working out with the weights so like I just don't use them. But like I I I 100% should be. Uh I also bought like two like handle thingies to put on the ground for like to do push-ups. So that like you can you can like do a push-up for like uh uh, like a, a deeper push up. Oh, this guy's playing like a stun deck, loser. To get those extra gains. Uh, IP Mascarena. Mascar. Oh! That was a, that was a misplay. Uh, it's okay though. Because uh, we'll just. We got Ritual Sanctuary. To bring back Sashed. Shuffle back the Ritual spell. Summon, and we're going to now link for elf. Can I search Ohime later? If I want to, yeah, but um, probably not. If if I summon Hari instead of Nini, yes, but I'm gonna be summoning Nini for the interruption. We're gonna activate elf. Bring this back. Also, <clears throat> I was supposed to summon Sigon already by now. So now I think. You know what? <sighs> Fuck, but I, I need this in the graveyard though. It's like summoning this on the, the field? Fuck, I'm gonna have to get rid of Ritual Sanctuary. Because I kind of messed up. I messed up the order of the, uh, which I'm supposed to do things. So now we have to get rid of Ritual Sanctuary. So no, now I can't get Ohime because I fucked up. Like you have to do things in a specific order. And uh, and I didn't do it in a specific order. Uh, let's get the this back into our hand. So like what I'm doing now with like summoning Sigrun and, and equipping stuff. Like I was supposed to do that earlier. And now I'm doing it now. Um, and because I fucked up, we're going to go with Nini instead. I also fucked up my zones. Like, I'm summoning everything in, like, wrong zones. My eyes are, 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 are hurting. Okay, we got... So we got we got the usual play. We got IP back. We got to steal their monster. We can go into a uh, goddess. Uh, activate rank nine. We'll send that sends Trias in the grave, and then we contribute uh, diviner. And then, or we could do exactly what I said minus IP, and then bring back diviner after we tribute it. We could do that too. Full full rotation push up. What's that? It's the end of the main phase? Okay. Is he bluffing? Probably not because he is playing a trap deck. Um, I... Okay. He's playing a trap deck, so I don't think he's bluffing. Like, see, he's got Fossil Dyna in the grave, and he's got uh, Dogmatic of Punishment. So we're going to have to activate everything. And by everything, I just mean that card. Because we're gonna, we all we want to do is keep Leviathan on the field. Because we can't activate Nini. There's literally nothing else to activate, and the only thing that's activatable is what I want to keep. We're gonna get rid of everything else. Yeah, there it is. Uh, select cards to banish. 
Banish, 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 banish. Because whatever he sets, I'm like, I'm gonna steal both of those. And then we still have a Drit we could normal summon. We still have a Sesh in the graveyard. We still got two more Ritual Sanctuaries and an egg in our deck. DP49, welcome to the stream. Uh, I hear half push ups. Uh, the deeper push up with the bar, you get four with. Oh, yeah, that's what you mean? Yeah. And with the handles I got, kind of does the same thing. I hear half push ups also do extra tension on your chest if you try that too. Half push ups? Bro! Are you serious, Jaugen? All right, so now we, we literally can't even activate this now, so we can't we can't we can't steal any back row because we have to special summon, bro. Want a duel? I don't have a duel room open. I'm in ranked right now, brother. Oh my fucking god. Like, what do I even do? We're just gonna pass. Oh my fucking god, bro. I, I hate I hate these fucking people, man. I hate I hate people that play these decks, man. Wow, that this one actually hurts me. Thank you for the YouTube sub, Walter. Like, man, this toxic shit just, like, it, it makes me want to fucking quit this game again. It's so fucking stupid. It pisses me off so much. And my eyes are... Yeah, I'm gonna have to wear my, my sunglasses. My eyes are killing me. Ah, fuck yeah, bitches. I'm the Zerminator. I'm the city, city boy Zerminator. I'll be back, bitches. On top of the deck, um, we're gonna actually. We can't special summon, so whatever we put on top of the deck, I forgot. We're actually gonna draw that next turn. Fucking moon mirror, bitch shield. I'm thinking of normal summoning this so that I can not draw Ash. So I can search. We still can't attack over Jalgen, but I'll, I will thin my deck. Imperm? Oh, you fucking loser. Oh my god, dude. Fucking hate these people, man. These people and meta players, man. Fucking annoy the shit out of me, bro. It's like, makes the game, like, not fucking fun. Bruh, Ecclesia. And we're just gonna draw Ash next turn, man. Dude. Like, how come it. Every time I play these fucking douchebags, they always have Jalgen. Like, is this a fucking. Like, is this a bot? Like, is this an actual person? And what the fuck is this shit? If card you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send one fusion monster that mentioned Albez from the extra deck or Gabriel instead. Now we're gonna draw our ash. Like oh, 
fucking annoying, man. I'm in ranked. This guy's a fucking idiot. Can he not attack with Moon Mirror Shield? Uh, they could the monster attack defense become equal to the attacker defense, whichever is higher plus 100. Yeah, couldn't he just attack with Jaga and attack directly with Dogmatica? No, he just wanted to activate this. Came back from Subway. That reminds me. I need to buy tuna fish. I need to start eating tuna fish. And I need to find out which is the best tuna fish to eat. Stall? Yeah, I'm 100% gonna fucking... Because, like, if these guys want to waste, like, your time by playing this dumb shit, like... Wow, and we just drew another fucking ash. Like, if they're going to waste your time, just waste their time back. No, I don't play evenly. Ugh. When the new Mi when the new when the Mikonko support drops tomorrow, I'll be playing the trap. So that trap can steal Jalgen. That trap is pretty good. I'll be playing one. I want to play more, but I feel like it's just gonna be a brick. Like man, I can't even do anything. Bro, these guys make me so fucking mad, bro. Like man, you guys you guys are so you guys are a bunch of fucking weirdos, man. Like you guys are like actual fucking weird people. Like what kind? Of, like what kind of person are you when you play shit like this? Like it defeats the whole purpose of playing a, a video game or just a game in general. Like what is what is going on with your fucking brain? Like, do you have like no friends, no family? Did has no one like fucking like? Have you never felt a hug before? That you just want to cause as much pain as possible and suffering. Like, w there's, like, something fucked with their head to play this shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, these guys are, like, actual, like, weird... Like, these guys are fucking school shooters, man. Like, these are the fucking... These are the fucking American school shooters right here. Fucking weirdos, man. Fuck, man. These guys are fucking losers, bro. These guys make me so fucking mad. They're the worst. They're worse than meta players, man. These guys are the scum of the fucking community. These guys are the worst Yu-Gi-Oh players ever. Like, no one likes these guys. <laughs> dominated. <laughs> I definitely was dominated. I was, uh, submitted. He made me submit. I swear, those are the guys where, like, a girl approaches them and they fucking run away. Th 
Those are the people that they describe themselves as, as incels. I yeah, I'm a I'm an I'm an incel and I'm proud and I join a group of other incels so we can be incel incel friends together. Welcome, Thank you for the raid, Lumi. Appreciate it. Bad timing though. Then we follow Stilo. Bro, four in the back row. What is this? Okay, it's Labyrinth. Just followed. Thank you for the follow, Steel of Eon. Welcome to the stream. I'd rather play against this shit than the fucking uh, stun garbage. What up, Stilo? City Boy Rage. Bro, like. Like, you want to play a game, right? So, like, you want to play, right? So, why are you playing a stun deck? No one's having fun. Even the people playing those decks, they're not having fun. They hate themselves for playing that shit. They're like, man, I hate to do this, but I, ha I have no other choice. I suck. So, I have to play this. The only way I get to play is if you don't get to play. Did you put Big Welcome Labyrinth in the Tinder bio? <laughs> bio. I have fun playing cash and vanishing everyone. Shut up, Akito. You don't get an opinion. You play cash. Okay? Your opinions don't matter here. If you play tier 1 decks and toxic decks and stun decks, your opinions don't matter. I don't care. Okay. Uh, let's see. They got Bill Welcome Labyrinth in the graveyard. Uh, he the card from the graveyard. Tower 1 for the Tower 1 for the card. Deporting controls instead. Okay. Um, fuck. This spiritual sanctuary is dead. Like, it doesn't do nothing. What's cool about having Tutu is that we don't need the normal summon diviner. But we still can because we opened up two of them. So we can actually normal summon one and then tribute the other one in our hand. So we can actually bait out uh, a play. I think stun is like corner camping in Call of Duty. <laughs> Not a favorite strategy, but still a uh, winning one. <laughs> you mean like spawn camping as well? I got two insta scoops and one disconnected a row and then an easy win for rank up. I love corner camping and COD is broken. <laughs> oh my god, man. I, lo I loved using uh, back in the MW2 days. Actually, you know what? Let's ditch this because uh, it literally does nothing. So we'll activate this. We'll special summon it. Uh, back in the M MW2 days, I would use the... Uh, fuck, what is it called? The UMP with the silencer. And then just marathon and just keep sprinting. Good times, man. Good times. Me using Scareclaw, Mathematics, Prank Adventure, Thunder Dragons because I'm a rogue player until I die. See? Now, that's a, that's a, th those are some decks I can respect. Uh, Thunder Dragons, though? I don't know. That's kind of a toss-up because they, they play Colossus, which doesn't let you search. MW2 is retro. Yo, it's the best Call of Duty of all time. Uh, this was a good draw, but we can't really utilize it right now. Um... So, next we will normal summon. I doubt they'll be able to negate this. Unless they have Imperm. Uh, so, I can actually mill the Herald of Arc Light, which will be pretty nasty. Oh, they didn't negate it. They didn't do, they didn't do anything to it. Interesting. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mill. We could actually even mill Nates and then pop one of the back rows. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna mill the Herald of Arclight to get a search. We're gonna search uh, Ohime. Now we have another way of tributing Diviner. We we get Ohime. Ohime grabs its ritual spell. We control a fiend. Target one card in the field. Destroy it. Mm, okay. So that that hurts Ohime, but we still have the one in their hand. We could tribute with Tutuban. Black Ops 2, that was a good one, but I love MW2. P90, yo, P90 was was crazy. P90 is the, the SMG, right? It was the, it's the SMG that's like really fast. I like, uh, you use that with a Kimbo. That was fun using, using that with a Kimbo. 
Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, Ohime is going to search the ritual spell. We'll might have to ditch the Sigrun. Mini Uzi? I think, I guess maybe, like, I think all those submachine guns were good, now that I think about it. The Vector I liked as well. What other, what other submachine guns were there? Uzi, uh, P90, UMP, uh, what else? Vector, what did they say? I wasn't paying attention. Imperm? Oh my god, they can activate that, right? Damn, that sucks. Okay, we need this equip card in the graveyard, so we're going to be discarding it with Ohime. Uh, as much as I would love to grab Arabesque. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait, no, no, we need the Ritual Summon because we, we're, we're going to be able to pop some stuff. Yeah, we're going to grab the Ritual Spell. We are now going to discard the spell card. So now once we ritual summon, we'll be able to pop one card and inflict a thousand. Uh, next, we will special summon this by tributing the diviner. That's going to trigger the diviner. Snipers are good. I love I loved quick, quick scoping. The only thing bad about those games is just if you're a camper. That's it. There's nothing bad about what weapons you play and stuff. Except maybe noob tubing. Uh, sashed. All the guns are fine. It's just your play style. If you're a camper, it's just boring. My favorite equipment was the throwing knife. I fucking love throwing knives. They're so fun. We all have that one friend who ran with the heavy machine gun with the riot shield. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, those riot shield guys are so annoying. But as long as you just, you just like stay super close to them and just jump, you can like get around them quick. But sometimes they'll like kill you super quick, which is annoying. You can also throwing knife their 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 feet, which is funny. Um, special summon. Oh shit, I don't have a target. We do have Chaos Angel now though. With light and dark. And we also have level 6 to Ritual Summon Ohime. Okay, so we're actually going to go Chaos Angel now. So now no monsters can be destroyed by... Um... They also still have the Imperm though. So they could negate this. Imperm, I believe... Was it this one? Man, I don't know. Let's hit this one. I don't remember where he said it. I'm that guy. <laughs> it's not capping. It's a tactical positioning. Ooh, Ice Dragon. Oh, that is not good, bro. Thank you for the follow, Keenan. Wait, you haven't been following me this whole time? Keenan Charles 316 just follow. Thank you for the follow, Keenan Charles 316. Welcome to the stream. If you kill me, I drop live grenades. <laughs> Marty Dom. Man, good times. They need to remake that already. I can't believe they haven't remade uh, MW2 yet. Damn, I'm a fiend. That's right. I'm a fiend. Shit. All right, well, this is our last uh, last play. Don't play in any of the columns because they have Imperm. So, like, if I accidentally played in one of these and it was the Imperm, then uh, it's pretty much game. All right, so now we get a free pop. Um, we're actually going to tribute... Yeah, we're going to tribute... The field. Tribute both the cards on the field because we're not... Totally out of options just yet. We're gonna destroy. Now we get a we get a free guaranteed destroy. Uh, because it activates at it, it resolves at the end of the chain, so he can't re he can't respond with this to this with anything. 
Uh, let's hit this one. I believe this should be the Emperor. No, Destructive Daruma. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We triggered this, so now we get to add the Ritual Spell back. I totally forgot about the second effect of that. Um, might as well activate this now. Equip this. It's probably going to get Impermed. There's the fucking Imperm. Why wasn't it glowing? Bro, it, it, it wasn't glowing. That's some bullshit. The, it wasn't glowing, so I didn't think that was the Imperm. How? It, it glows. If it, it, if it glows, that means it's activatable, right? Like it's something they can activate. So that's why I did, I did, that's why I hit the middle one. Brother, what the fuck, man? I got scammed. We needed to hit the Imperm to inflict uh, one, inflict uh, 2,900 damage, and then bounce any card. So I could have bounced the, the Sigrun to my hand. And then I have two Sigruns in my hand. Brother. And then, that wasn't even the last play. I could have further extended it from there. Like, come on, man. What is Okay, so does that not mean it's activated? What does that mean? What does the glowing mean? Like, why is this card glowing? Now we have no... Actually, no, we're, we're fine. Chain and I can't be destroyed. That was... A, I don't know why he did that. That was, that was silly. Did he Ice Dragon Prison? Uh, yes. Why do you ask? Because he has this, the Sigrun on his field? Yes, he did. He would still have Daruma? Um, no, he would not. Because I would have I would have been able to make a second Chaos Angel. And the middle one was, was the one I was going to hit anyway. Because... Oh, actually, never mind. Uh, yeah, you're right. He would have. He would have been able to. Wait, what happened? Wait, he bounced me? Oh wow! And and it, its effect still resolves. That's crazy. That's crazy. So now he gets the equip. <laughs> yeah, if the, not, yeah, he would have been able to, unless unless he waited. Then we would still get the banish it, but then he would still get the resolve it. Because he would just chain. He would just chain to my Chaos Angel. Man, if only we had more equip cards in the graveyard, we could have popped multiple cards. This is why this ritual spell is so good. It's so fucking good, man. It's non target. It's non target destruction and 1,000 for each pop. And then you could pop like so many cards if you have a bunch of equips in the graveyard. Which normally we have two. But I just wasn't able to get into them. Okay, we have we still have one play. Hopefully, um Um let's see what we get. Um We could normal summon Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is really good. Uh, special love with monster deck. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm plat something. I don't remember which one. So we have we have a couple plays here. Um, we're gonna have to activate him. He may grab our last equip, and then we're gonna have to. Oh, we have to discard something though. We're gonna have to discard Ohime. Um, we're not gonna be able to ritual summon Ohime. But if I discard Ohime, should I just discard the Ritual Spell then? Because we want to Normal Summon Hari. So that Hari... Because, like, with Ohime, we're going to search the Equip card, right? Which is Arabesque. Wait a minute. Hold on. Right now, there's only there's two targets for Ohime, Nini and Arabesque. I need Sigrun in my hand. We so we can't we can't use Sigrun as tribute material, ritual material. The so we have to keep Sigrun. Um, but if I want to summon Ohime, 
I have like I don't have enough cards. Like whatever I discard, if I discard anything, I won't be able to ritual summon her. Which means I lose my sig run. So I have to I have to ditch Ohime. Unfortunately, we can't we can't ritual summon Ohime. So we're going to grab Arabesque. We're going to ditch Ohime. But since I'm ditching Ohime... Yeah, yeah, let's just ditch it. Now we activate. We're going to bounce. My Sigrun back. Uh, first, actually, wait, before I do that, I should have done this first. Because we don't want to lose that equip card just yet. Hopefully, this is, another, this is not another Ice Dragon Prison. Have you tried the quick play yet? Uh, the Mikonko quick play? Uh, it's, I think it's really good. Uh, but in this version, I can't really make good use of it yet until the, the new support drops. So, until we get the, the trap card and the, the level 9. So tomorrow I'll, I will be putting it in my deck though, because it'll it'll actually uh, be really good when the new support drops. I just can't I, I just can't fully fully utilize it that well. Ah shit, he's gonna he's gonna hit my sesh. So now we lose Chaos Angel. So now we we lose our Chaos Angel play if he shuffles back sesh, which he probably will. What? He went for the Mikonkos? Yo, this guy fucked up. He went for the Mikonkos. He did he did kind of ruin one thing though. But it's okay. We still got our the main the main play. Uh summon another Sigrun. Man, what is this delay? What is this delay? Now we're gonna bounce. The Sigrun he has back to my hand. And we're going to get a, another... Uh... Ooh, you know what? Normally, I was I was going to summon Nini. But because he, sh he shuffled back that shit back to my deck, now I can search it. So now we're going to grab it back. So we, we, we back in business, baby. We back in business, a baby boy. Now we're going to make Chaos Angel again. I don't have much time to... To, to do anything. I got 10 seconds. Yes. He's going to activate this card anyway. Right? Hit it, hit it, hit it. Trap trick? Oh my fucking god. Okay, this is the last play. We're going to equip this. Take our chaos. Wait, he can. Oh, he can activate it, bro. Brother, he can fucking activate it. Okay, we're gonna end our turn. That is so stupid. So fucking stupid. He can just activate that already. Brother. Brother, why can you activate that? The turn you said it. That's some dumb shit. We're okay, though. He's gonna kill Chaos Angel. That's fine. He's gonna kill Hari. Uh. Uh, that's fine. We're still Gucci. How much how much chaos angels I got left? Zero? I made both of them? Fuck. If I play three, I can make another one. I can make a third one. He can't kill everything. I think we can win. We could definitely clutch this. His uh his labyrinth his lady labyrinth is not protected, it doesn't do anything. He forgot my defense! <laughs> He forgot how much the the defense was. Oh, you know what? You you guys know what? You guys know what? I got some plays. I got some nasty plays left. Watch this. Watch this. I think I win. I think I win right here. I think this is game. The Valk's about to pop off, bruh. Doesn't matter who we equip this to. But now we can get rid of it to special in the second one from my hand. Now it's back in the graveyard. So now I can activate its greater graveyard effect. But before that, this is going to bring back Sesh. Sesh is going to bring back another monster. And it's GG's. This is GG's. Now it's going to summon from the deck. Did 
Dude, man, you see this place, dude? Awesome place, dude. And that's gonna search another card! Another sesh. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, one, we're gonna... I didn't mean to do that. Holy fuck. That was a... <laughs> Brother! I didn't mean to do that! Oh my fucking god! I literally just gave him an interruption, man. I didn't mean to use... I meant to use it as link material, but I ended up clicking it. God damn it! Anyways, we steal his monster. <laughs> fucking shit. God damn it. Alright, now... We're gonna go... Into Muckcracker. Muckcracker is gonna bring back Chaos Angel. And now we have a Chaos Angel again. Unless he bounces it. Which he's gonna bounce it. Okay. Now we have no plays. Okay, now we're fucked. Just kidding. We, we still have rank 9 plays. Uh, now we have our last... Not not quite our last play yet. Um, Hold on. Let me check his graveyard. He does not have anything good. We're gonna... Okay, we're gonna... I gotta think quick. I don't know what to make right now. Uh, we're gonna make Aggregator, which is gonna be able to send uh, Nites to the grave, which is gonna be able to pop that back row. Uh, you can target any number of uh, grave up to the yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna re-equip Nites now. We're going to re-equip and the Herald of Arclight I have in my graveyard. So now, both of their effects will trigger. They're not once per turn. And if I get rid of this, I'll be able to pop again. But I'm not done yet. Now we activate the Mekong card in the grave. Bring back Hari. So that's already... We're going to be able to inflict 3,000 3, and bounce. Um. Uh, now we're going to... We're going to normal summon. And then link away aggregator. For Muckcracker! For Muckcracker! Triggering the Arclight and the Nites. And the aggregator. All three of them. We don't need to activate aggregator though. We're going to pop this. Just for funsies, I'll activate aggregator. Uh, negate that. Get that shit out of here. Now, we bring back Chaos Angel. So, but, but, but with this, now we can't um, inflict the 3k. But it's okay. It's in the graveyard. And we make him scoop. Get the fuck out of my face. We got plays, dude. We got we got hella hoes and hella plays, brother. And I wasn't even done. The Herald of Arclight would have searched Ohime that he put back in our deck. I so happen to have the ritual card. Ritual summon it. Summon Ohime. Pop. Inflict a thousand. Activate Ohime's effect. Get back my equips. Trigger the Benten I used to tribute it. Search a fairy. And then it's bam, 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 bam. All over again. That would have been OTK. We would have got him. So much advantage. So much advantage. That is worth saving. Okay, that was actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have room though. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I always save shit and I never do anything with it. Probably because I always tell myself it's on the VOD. Which it's on the VOD. That's fine. Okay, we got the VOD. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Bro, <laughs> this whole time, we were playing with this fucking card in, in our deck. <laughs> we were playing Neg 1 this whole time. Um, I'm thinking maybe a second copy of Mikanko, Kagura. We got him. Add evenly, yeah, but uh, like purely for the stun decks, one evenly, one copy of evenly, not worth it, honestly. Oh, yeah, foolish burial, foolish burial, honestly, is probably better. Do it, no, I'm gonna add foolish burial. I'm gonna add the goo, okay, the gaba goo. You know what, this card is actually. Has been working pretty good. Like this, I thought this card was gonna suck, but it's actually putting in work. 
the Gabagoo. Okay, evenly is good. Like I like I wish I could put evenly in this deck. Um, like I do want to put evenly, but I don't know. It's just you know, the trap is gonna ruin the Gabagoo. You know what I'm saying? We we already got the Gabagoo going on. We don't want to ruin the Gabagoo. And plus, I it's it's just one. If I could put three evenlies, maybe. All right, so now we, we're going to, like, bro, I can't believe I have not been using Foolish Burial this whole time. This whole time. But, bro, you guys see the aggregator plays, dude? The aggregator plays? What's crazy is that you could literally use Arclight in a test, and then aggregator can re-equip them. You get rid of aggregator. Actually, even aggregator can send one. Like, if, if you have, like, one or none in the grave, you could send it with aggregator. Trigger. Aggregator re-equips them, get rid of Aggregator, trigger them again because they're not once per turn. So like in the test, you get two pops. And then when Aggregator leaves the field, you get to negate a card. Which is amazing. The rank nines, baby. The rank nines. You just saw it. World first. World premiere. Triggering in the test and Arc Light. Netest twice in one turn. Guy's name's COVID nineteen. VFD, bro, we can make VFD with one card in this deck. I I used to play VFD before it got banned. I know, I know, it's a floodgate and a toxic card, but uh, you gotta fight fire with fire. Toxic player incoming. Okay, um, cool. So. We actually don't need Ritual Sanctuary because we have Cyber Tutubon. So we can search Ben 10 and get Diviner immediately. Uh, so now Ben 10. Uh, Tutubon will trigger, will tribute Ben 10. We also have one spell in our graveyard. So we can bring back Sesh from the grave. I do the COVID-13 this afternoon. Great card, in my opinion. VFD with the virtual world. Uh, I was king. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now we just do our normal Valk plays. Feelings change like the weather. And it's all change. Oh, you want to wait. You is hot. And it's in Change my state of mind. Oh, so hard to find. Bro, my eyes are killing me right now. Uh, special, yep. And then, uh, what's awesome about summoning Sesh from the deck while, I mean, Sigrun from the deck while having Drit in your hand is that when you summon the Drit, you get to search another copy of Sigrun, and then you could summon Sigrun again with its own effect. I'll just find out what he's playing. Hopefully, it's not tears. It's runic. Jesus Christ! Oh my freaking goodness! Okay, it's runic. So we have to uh, definitely go rank nine. Um, we have this. During your turn, when you activate a card or effect, you can target one card of the same name. Let's see. Um, I can't do that. I can't do that and my Leviathan. Leviathan's probably going to be better. So we're definitely going to be making Leviathan. So let's go with our just standard shenanigans. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. IP. And then IP will go into a elf. So now elf can't be destroyed. So that's going to be good. Uh, now we're going to make the rank 9. This card is really good against runics. This card is actually really good against like 99% of decks. Uh, let's see. We're going to bring back the 
Diviner, which is going to be uh, potentially a pop. We are going to... We already activated Sirgrun's effect, so summoning it here right now doesn't really give us much advantage. Um, do I need Call By? I don't think I need Call By against Runic, but it could be like Runic something. It could be Runic mixed with something. So I think we'll play it safe and set the Call By. Uh, we could ditch the Call By and search any Ritual Monster, but right now... Uh, actually... Yeah, so activate Ritual Sanctuary, ditch Call By, search Ohime. Yeah, but I have nothing to discard though. That's the thing. If once I activate Ohime, if I search something, I gotta discard it. Um, or I could discard my Ohime. But if I do that, if I do that, I'll, okay, I'm just going to set pass. We'll make him think it's imperm. Oh, shit. I forgot. Uh, we could have actually summoned uh, Sesh from the Graveyard as well with uh, the second effect of Ritual Sanctuary. No, we don't have Egg. We opened up Ritual Sanctuary. Okay, so I kind of misplayed. So the play I was thinking before, I think probably would have been best. We'll see. Set one. Set two, set three, set four, set five. Okay, end phase. All right, so now we're going to do this. We are going to summon this. And we're going to steal two of these set cards. We have to We have to get lucky. We have to steal something good. We're going to steal the two outside cards. And they are... Two runic cards. Uh, target face up monster uh, can be destroyed. Uh, target face up effect monster. Okay, we got one negate off the field, which is good. So we one hit was good. Uh, next, do I want to activate this? No, we don't want to activate it. Always steal the middle. No, I think the middle is a bluff. Although in this case. Yeah, stealing the middle probably would have been better. Because this card right here, we don't care about that. Hopefully those... Imagine those were the only two runic cards he had. Then that actually would, would have been pretty crazy. I don't lie. I never lie. I don't lie. All right, we're going to do Oh, wait. Oof. Okay. Uh that might have not been the best play. Uh I should have got another fairy on the field before I did that. So that way I get a pop. So we just lost the pop. So that was bad on my part. Level 6 or higher special monsters on the field, uh, whatever. Uh that's fine. That does not do anything. That's good. This card I didn't want to hit. So that's good. We didn't hit that. We're just going to trigger this. But this does stop Sigrun's effect though. Instead of summoning Sesh from the deck. We're going to summon Egg. We're going to get a second copy of Sanctuary. So that way we can search Ohime. And then potentially Ritual summon it. And get some pops. Uh, we'll activate Elf now. We'll summon uh, this back so we can mill it in a test and get a pop. Let's pop the middle and see what the middle is. Pop the middle. Pop the middle. 
What is the middle? I'm emo, kid. The middle was safe zone. Target is to want to face up attack, which is a monster in the field. That face up monster cannot be shown by battle. What is this guy playing? Fuck yeah. Oh, wait, we can't attack with level 6 or higher as well? Oh, we can't. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, now, Ritual Sanctuary. So he's playing Runic Stun. Loser, dude. Um. um so that means Chaos Angel doesn't do anything. I have to clear my field. I kind of have to make a Muckcracker. Won't activate its effect though. Don't, because it's gonna lock us into fiends. We also can't. We don't. We need a fiend in our graveyard. All right. Now we're going to. Ditch the extra ritual sanctuary in the hand. What is this card, dude? Is it a runic card or some sort of toxic ass shit? Grab the Ohime. Level 6 or higher special monsters on the field cannot declare attacks, nor can players activate their effects. Okay, but does that negate... Does it negate the second the, the, la, the second and third effect for Chaos Angel? Like, it'll negate the first effect, but what about the, the, the other two effects? Uh, now we're going to activate Ohime. Do I have an equip card in my grave? Brother, I don't have an equip card in my grave? Fuck. Damn it, we can't pop anything. Okay, we might have to, we might have to do some setup. We might have to grab the ritual this turn and then next turn go for the pops. We got 40 seconds. Yeah, grab the ritual now. Ditch magician souls. How much damage do I got? I got 6300. We're going to activate the second effect of Ritual Sanctuary. We're going to summon Sashed. Shuffling back this. It won't negate passive effects. Okay, cool. We don't need it, but good to know. All right, now we're just we're going to go for game. We're going to try to attack. Sigrun's effect will be negated anyway, so summoning on a full, full board is fine. Uh, we're going to go battle phase. Hopefully, this does not uh, stop me. Hopefully this doesn't stop me. It's probably a runic card. Which means I should have attacked with maybe Sigrun first. Because I think Huggin has 2,000 booty, right? So maybe attacking with Elf was not the smartest. It was. Target face of monster. Special on runic. Yeah, that was a misplay on my part. I should have attacked. With this. Wait, what? I meant with this first. We also have to activate it because we only have 2,000. Peace out, rough. There's not enough time to summon aggregator. We could. I got seven seconds. It's kind of scary. I wonder if I could quickly summon it. That's kind of too many. Wait, what? He's going to let me attack for this much? That's crazy. We are gonna. We have to end our turn. We have four seconds. I can't set anything. Nothing. So at least we have a pop and draw three. Thank you for the follow, whoever followed me. You look like a biker. Thank you for the follow to scene 54. Thank you, Delcy. Welcome to the stream. Uh, my eyes are sore, so I'm that's why I'm wearing the glasses. Okay, we have a we have a we're going to be able to mill our second triaz. Which will give us an interruption. Blu-ray blu-rays? Uh no. Is that like for your eyes or something? Like 
if your eyes are are they supposed to be like relaxing for your eyes Who got that stop blue screen light from your monitor? Oh shit, you know what? That's actually might be exactly what I'm looking for. Does he not play Huggin? Um, um, um who knows? He's a runic player. They're weird. They're a bunch of weirdos. Can only special summon light? Good thing I have only lights. Good thing I'm playing a light deck. Tribute 1, Tribute 2, Tribute 3. Ah, ah, ah. So now we get to pop one card and draw th draw two. Draw, uh, Pop the face down. Skill Drain, get out of here, bozo. Get out of here, fucking bozo. Summon my last sesh. I don't have any Valks left in my deck. <laughs> That's funny. We could we could win under Super Ancient. Okay, he still has he still has two face downs though. What could they be? They could still be some toxic traps. But either way, man, bro, we're not okay. We have one equip card. Good. Now, okay, we have one equip in the grave now. That's good. All I need is one more equip card, and we win. Grab Ben Ten. Oh, Hime is going to grab another equip. And this is pretty much game. It uh, doesn't matter which equip card we grab. We're going to send uh, that equip card to the graveyard. So now we have two equips in the grave. Now it's game. It's over. We win. Wipe the field. It's over, bozo. And since Ohime is light, we can special summon a light. We're good. Uh, rest in piss. He can't even respond. He can't even respond. It was a second copy. That's right, Scoop! Scoop, you nerd! You're a loser! You're COVID-19! You ruined the fucking world! I hate Yu-Gi-Oh players sometimes. The new cards must uh, make market sp uh, spike up. Oh, no, bro. Sorry for bitching? Bro, This I'm all about bitching. I You just missed me. You just missed me bitching real hard like 20 minutes ago there's a lot there's a lot i hate about Yu-Gi-Oh. okay so we're plat two we're one win away from plat one there's so much about this game that just pisses me off you complain about cash complain about and gentlemen, a lot of things bro my stomach is hurting i need food Hold on, I'm gonna take a piss. I'm gonna go grab a Gatorade. Oh yeah. Give me a couple seconds.
I'm back, nerds. So this Gatorade, bro, this this whole bottle, this whole bottle is five calories. Five calories, man. That's insane. The lemon water is not is not uh doing the whole job. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff too. Zero sugar too. Zero sugar. A single gram of carb. That's the very brand that got me sick. <laughs> this one? G0? <laughs> this got you sick? How did it get you sick? This is like my second one today. I already drank one today. No joke. You must be allergic to something inside it. Or maybe you just think this it was this one and it was actually something else. I could still eat some, I guess, some chicken bites. Because it's... Five of these is 70 calories. So I'd be, if I eat one piece, it's like around, what, eight or nine calories? Nine calories, about. Labyrinth, and we're going second. Okay, we have Cyber Tutu and Diviner. Bro, we're always opening up Sanctuary with no spells. We got Nini, but we don't want to open Nini. We, we want it in the deck. What does the cyber card do? I'm glad you asked, Bindi. Uh, you can tribute a warrior or a fairy in your hand or field to special summon it. So it, it triggers Diviner. Uh, it also triggers Ben 10. Uh, and then when it's tributed for a ritual summon, or I think just tributed in general... No, when it's tributed for a ritual summon, you get to add back a ritual spell from the grave. So it has so much synergy. It just sucks that it's a it's an earth warrior and it's not a light fairy. If it was a light fairy, holy shit, it would be fucking broken. Nice, best uh, best la labyrinth end board. Oh fuck, they got rollback in the graveyard though. That's not good. All right, so unfortunately, our only play is normal summoning diviner. So luckily we don't need to send um Ash. Okay, we're not sending anything. That's fine. So we're not sending anything. But we can still tribute it. Special summon by tributing from the field. Our end board won't be that good. Cause we didn't get to mill anything. In our head, like, there's nothing we can even do. None of these cards can give us a spell unless we summon uh, Cyber Angel Egg. But if I summon Egg, let's see. Ooh, actually, you know what? Egg might be a better option. Yeah, let's do Egg. Cause that, that'll grab us a spell card. That'll grab us a second copy of Virtual Sanctuary. Because we already have Sesh in our hand. So we'll, we'll be able to summon it from the graveyard. If we manage to get into the graveyard. So now we activate Sanctuary. We ditch Sanctuary for Sanctuary. That will grab us Ohime, which will let us send Sesh from our hand to the graveyard. And give us uh, Arabesque to bounce Lovely. We're good. This is good. We're fine. We might, we, we might actually win this because their end board was not good. Oh shit, I forgot about this. They get a pop. Uh oh. Ooh, this is not good. If they pop Ritual Sanctuary, which I think they will, we're fucked. Aw oh, man, that sucks. Okay. We can still make Elf though. Ooh, yo, this guy's a fool! E even if he did pop Ritual Sanctuary, we could just make Elf, and then next turn we have Diviner. Uh, Diviner, please. All right, so now we ditch Ritual Sank for Ohime. There's a delay. 
It's probably like a Ku Ku Clock or some shit, right? Uh, this one. Quick effect: Send this card from your hand or fill to the graveyard. Discard one card. Set one labyrinth spell trap Ignace from your deck. Welcome back to the stream, Ignace Blumen, you son of a bitch. Ignace Blumen, you son of a bitch. Welcome to the stream. All right, so we're gonna grab Ohime. Ohime is going to search uh, Arabesque to bounce back the lovely to their hand. I think that's what I want to do. Um, yeah. Arabesque. And then we're going to send Sesh to the graveyard. Now, we're going to activate the second effect of Ritual Sanctuary. You can't Ash it because of Lovely's effect. Wait, can't Ash what? Lovely Labyrinth has a passive effect that does not allow your opponent to uh, respond with monster effects if it's a normal trap. Oh, what did Sora say? Uh, no ash. Yeah, that's why. Um, so now we're going to bring back Sash from the Grave. Shuffling back Ritual Sanctuary. Uh, that's going to summon Drit from the deck. And then Drit from the deck is going to search Sigrun. Lovely. So now we got Elf again. We can still, we can still make Elf. Bro, why you keep delaying, man? I'm not going to ask myself, dude. Summon in attack mode. It's going to search Sigrun. Uh, we don't want to mill against this deck, so we won't activate that. Uh, next, we will activate Arabesque now. We're going to bounce the lovely back to their hand. Which will special summon Hari. Which Hari will then give us another equipped card from the deck. Wait, what's the normal trap he's activating? Big welcome? Shit. He's also going to bounce something. He might bounce Arabesque. I think he's going to bounce Arabesque back to my hand. But joke's on him. I could just activate it again. <laughs> Yo, watch this. No, we're good. I can just activate it again. I didn't activate the effect yet. I only activated the card. I didn't activate the effect. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. He's not a dumbass. He bounced his monster. That's fine. That's okay. That was a good play. Uh, next, we are going to make... Uh, we're not going to go IP into Elf. We're just going to go into Elf using these two. That was a good play. Unless it was an accident. There's a delay. Don't tell me he's a fucking Nibiru. Does he actually have Nibiru? Because we know two cards in his hand. We know two cards. We don't know the third random card. All right, we're going to activate Elf. We're going to bring back Diviner. And he's still not doing anything. Fuck. Bro, are you serious, man? Okay. Uh, new game plan. Uh, I'm going to make IP Masquerina in hopes in... You know what? Actually, fuck that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. No! Bro! I he summoned in the Atomazone and then I made Adam <laughs> Brother Oh Oh my god Unacceptable Condition Unacceptable Also um It wasn't stove in his hand, was it? It's th no, it's 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 the chandelier. It's not nib. It's not it's not nib. It's chandelier. I swear to God, if it's nib, because he didn't he didn't use chandelier yet. Bring back the sesh that we linked away.
Make Chaos Angel. We're going to banish this. We're going to use Anima. Oh man, is it quick effect on the field? Nice, get shit on, loser. We were going to win that anyway, even though I, I fucked up. I was going to summon... Chaos Angel again. We were going to have two Chaos Angels. I mean, not two, but... After I use this one, we can get rid of it. And then make Muckcracker. And then bring bring it back. Plat one! How many do I have to win in a row? Only four? Okay. I think that's doable. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Unacceptable! The Gator is actually helping with the hunger. Though. The hunger. Actually, it's weird. Oddly enough, it's actually helping more than uh, the lemon water, which is weird. I missed the part where that's my problem. All right. We... Uh, we're going to activate Magician Souls first. We don't need to activate Hidden Armory, so I need to bait out the Ash. We're gonna we're gonna try to bait out the ash. Maybe it's the sugar, probably. Uh, wait. I think lemon. I think lemon and lime has sugar, right? Or is that just that's fruits, right? I don't think vegetables have sugar. Probably. I don't know. But anyways, let's see if we can bait out the ash. There is no ash. Good. Ooh, ritual sanctuary. Except it's kind of useless right now. Uh, preparation of rites. Welcome back, lethal. Grab the Ohime. Ohime grabs the ritual. Uh, and then we ditch uh, Seshed. And now the ritual sanctuary is live. Which is dope. Discard Seshed. Oh yeah, we got plays. Our hand our hand just went from mid to like good. Really, really, really good hand. Um, well, we're going to do the Seshed play first. We'll do the Diviner play after, just in case he has, like, Nibiru or something. We already summoned once. This is going to be our second summon. Send preparation back to the deck. This will be our third. This will be our fourth. Uh, so now I'll do my link plays. Find out what he's playing. He's playing a C deck? No, he's playing Infernobles. When you point activate the spell card, you can play for something also. You can special this card from your hand. If someone this way, face the card, it's banished instead. If this card is sent to the field of the graveyard, you can add one Earth Insect? What is... Why is he playing Retaliating C? Uh, okay, so is this against Branded? Is This, this is good against Branded, right? Because uh, they fuse... Interesting. Very interesting. I think it's Vanquish Shell. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Snake Eyes counter. What up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream. Okay. So we're going to go IP using these two. And then IP into Elf. So this is, this is our fifth summon, right? No delay. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go into Elf. So now Elf is fine from destruction. Uh, next, we are going to Ritual Summon Ohime by tributing Benten. So now we have Untargetable Ohime. Triggering Benten. Grabbing Diviner. Normal Diviner. Diviner Mill. Trias. Tributes. Uh, 
Um, we already summoned Seshed. We're not going to get Seshed's effect, so we're going to summon Egg now. That will give us another Ritual Sanctuary because we're going to be getting rid of this one. So now we get rid of this one. Bro, this hand is nasty. All it's missing is uh, one Mikonko equip card. That's it. That's like the only thing this, this hand doesn't have. Uh, now we make our rank 9. Uh, shit, I summoned in the wrong zones. It was supposed to be pointing where Elf is pointing. It's okay. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, next, we can we can make an Appalooza, actually. Since we don't have any Mikonko cards in the graveyard. We can bring back Diviner. And then we can just make an Appalooza. Which is really, really good. Or we could make Herald of Arc Light. Yes, let's do that. Let's do Herald of Arc Light instead. So now we have a we also have a, an Omni Negate. Any monster sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard is banished. So they can't mill Ogier, right? What up, Vizzer? Ogier, I believe, is the one where they want to send to the graveyard, right? I think. So we could stop that. It'll be banished. We could also just negate anything. Pot of Prosperity? It, so, is this Vanquish Souls? Because I think Vanquish Soul... Could we not make IP as well? We did. We did make IP. It's in the graveyard. We can bring it back. You weren't even paying attention, Spindy. Um, this is definitely worth negating, right? Because, like, I, I'm not familiar with Vanquish Souls. I'm not really too sure what they're... What they do. It is Vanquish Soul. Okay. I know the level 4 fire monster is, like, their starter. I know that card's really good. And then they have, like, a dark, I think, dragon. That is, like, their main beater. Oh, I hope he doesn't have Kurikara. If he's got Kurikara, we're kind of fucked. Yeah, so Raisin. Raisin is, like, their starter. But honestly, I think he's probably got... He doesn't need Raisin. Raisin Bran. He got Raisin Bran. Add one uh, non-warrior Vanquish Soul from your deck to your hand. Um, what else does he do? Quick effect. Uh, destroy all other monster in this card's column. Uh, I could deal with that. We won't negate that. Search, don't let him search for Panthera. I don't know what Panthera does. You reveal this... If you reveal a... In your card in your hand, uh, you can on this card. Uh, change by opposition of one monster. Add one Vanquish Soul card. So he's going to... Elf can't be destroyed. Uh, we could chain... So that this won't be destroyed. We'll steal Raisin. We just got to remember not to summon right here. Do not summon right here. They need a monster on the field to work. Then we're good. We're, we're GG's. Summon this right here. Yeah, and we're going to steal Raisin. He's going to summon the other guy he just searched. And then I guess uh, we'll grab this equip card just in case there's some way of bringing that back. Uh, what does this do again? Revealing two fires gives him a vanquish soul. Is it a quick effect? Oh shit! I I, I should maybe should not have activated this. <clears throat> it's okay. We have we ha we still have more interruptions. I believe this is a quick effect, right? Yeah. So we can't stop that. 
He'll be able to search. Should have waited. Yeah, I should have. Uh, we could we could also force the pop right now by sending the test. So now he will he will activate this, and then we'll just negate it. Join the main phase. Target one non machine vapor soul. Uh, return to the hand, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. Uh, you can draw a card and inflict damage. It has 2,500 attack. Uh, I really don't want this to go back to the hand. So I will neg I will negate. I want this gone. I don't want him, I don't want him having this card in his hand. Okay, what the fuck is this? Train the main phase, you can target one non- Bro, they're, qu they're both quick effects. No! I'm not done yet. We got one more. Tributes. Uh... Tributes. Tribute. Three fairies. That's it. We're all out of interruptions. If this doesn't work, we're fucked. He doesn't have two fires. Got him. Now we get to pop and draw two. Probably should have summoned it under elf, but it's whatever. Draw two cards as well. Nice, dude. He also, he already normal summoned, so hopefully he doesn't have anything else. And then we also trigger this. Fuck yeah. And then also trigger this. I totally forgot. I literally forgot about those cards. We still got plays, baby. And that's a scoop. Let's go, dude. Bro, I totally forgot about those. <laughs> and our hand, look, look at, our, and our hand was disgusting, man. We had, we drew a preparation and we already had another Herald. Thank you, Ignis. Zilly also uh, helped out with this deck too. He got actually got to test the deck before I got to. So he, he made like kind of like a framework for the deck and then I just kind of expanded on it. Um, and then tomorrow we get more, we get Mikonko support. So I'm also going to add those cards to this deck. We get the, we get the trap and we get the level nine ritual monster. The level nine ritual is also a light fairy and it's level nine. I can't wait, seem to win a coin toss on Mazu lately. Yeah, it's weird. A lot of people say, like, they, like, never win coin tosses. Thank you for the follow, Ignis. Ignis Bloom and Jess Fall. I usually Thank win, a, like, a lot of the Bloom. coin flips. Welcome to the stream. Like, I, I feel like I go first way more than I, I go second. And thank you for the YouTube sub, Daniel. Appreciate it. Uh, it's weird. Sometimes I don't get not notifications for YouTube. Uh, no. Uh, I'll be using the green Mikanko when the support drops tomorrow, because right now it's just not it's just not good in this version. But because now I'm playing, I'll, I'll be playing the trap tomorrow when it comes out. The green one, I'm actually it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna put it in the deck, and then I might even put ceremony. Uh, so I'll be, I'll be playing this because this searches the trap. There's the there's the notification, just a little delayed. So. I was wondering how uh, Zilly knew the lines. <laughs> so, I'll be playing this because this card searches the traps. And I'll be adding the trap. The trap is really good. So good. It has two effects. It also has a graveyard effect. So, you can discard it and then activate the graveyard effect as well. Uh, I'm going to test it at one though. I really want to play more than one of it. But, I'm going to test it at one. And then, I'm also thinking of putting Ceremony. Because now I'll have more targets. Because I'll be putting... I think like three more Mikonko cards in my deck. So this card is actually going to be good. Um, I don't know how well the deck is going to work though. So I'm going to need to like practice and experiment some more. Yeah, the jewel is this one, right? Yeah, this one is really good. The only reason why I, I don't use it in this version 
It's because one, I don't play any traps. And then two, it doesn't give me any advantage. Like Hari gives me extra cards and then Nini is an interruption. Jewel doesn't do anything. It's like protection effect is really good. But it's not necessary in this version. Like, there's very little times where like, ah oh, shit, I really need a jewel right now. Like, it almost never comes up. Like, there's never a scenario where like, shit, I wish I had jewel on the field right now to protect me. But when I add the new cards, it'll be really good. Um, so the trap, for those of you who don't know, it lets you target... I forget if it targets or not. I, I'm pretty sure it targets. You target one of your opponent's monsters and you equip it to one of your Mikonkos. So essentially, you get to steal your opponent's monster and it gives you like an equip card, which is amazing. Which synergizes really well with the Valks, with Sigrun. And then it has a, a second... Oh yeah, and then if you control a ritual monster when you do that, you also get to burn your opponent for 500 for, I think, for each like equip card you control. That second effect is not that good. We're not. It's not going to be coming up as much. But the, the third effect, you get to banish it from your graveyard. And you also get, you can activate, I think, both effects in one turn. Uh, you banish it from your graveyard to special summon a Mikonko that's banished or in your hand. So summoning a ba banished Mikonko is actually pretty crazy because this card, this card's really good. It banishes your Mikonkos when your Mikonko leaves the field if you, like, summon it from the graveyard. So it's a great way to re uh, recycle your Mikonkos. Uh, and then the level 9 Mikonko, it, 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 it doesn't really do too much. What it is, it, it's, a, it's a constant source of, like, having a face-up card on the field. Uh, so, like, it literally for no cost. All you need to have is just a Mikonko in the grave. And then you can always, every turn, just equip it from your hand or graveyard. So you can, like, ditch it for, like, costs. And you can still activate the graveyard effect, which is really good. Equip it to your monster or your opponent's monster. I'm going to mainly use it just as, like, fuel for Sigrun and fuel for Magician Souls. To like draw, get extra draws, and then just use for Sigrun. But then you can also, at the end of your turn, bounce like problematic monsters. Like maybe you can like bait out a Baron negate, or something, and then just equip it to like a Baron, and then bounce their Baron back, or bounce it to like uh, what? What's a good? What's a good monster? Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of one. But like at the end phase, it. it you equip it to a monster, and then you get bounce that monster to the uh, player's hand. Yours or your opponent's monster. Uh, yeah, off the top of my head, I can't think of a like can't think of a good monster. But like monsters that can't be destroyed are good. Monsters that can't be like removed from the field by like destruction or banishing are good. Uh, it's really good against extra deck monsters to send them back to the extra deck. It's really good for monsters that have graveyard effects. So are you going to add the new Mikonko card when it comes out? I just spent like 10 minutes saying yeah. Is <laughs> the guy just comes so late <laughs> at the end of my 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 talking? Yeah, I'm talking about it right now. I'm going to be adding actually um the new trap and the new monster. And then I'm going to be adding a uh, jewel and ceremony as well. These traps like they're not bad. But like this this version of this deck is like more like combo oriented and the traps are just way too slow like this effect is good but it's a trap because it's which makes it like really slow it's gonna it's gonna be a brick going going first like i'm gonna brick a lot with this in my hand this one if you show me conco monster target one pays a monster field equip with the one who creeps off from your deck one, I don't have a lot of equipped targets in my deck anyways. And one of them I can't even activate from the deck. So there's only two targets. And both of those I can get really easy. So like this card is just not necessary. Um, if this if an equipped card is sent to the graveyard while well, this card's in the graveyard, you could bash this card. Then in target one equip spell in your graveyard at your hand. Yeah, like that. Adding a equipped card back to my hand is not necessary as well. So that's why I don't play these. Like it's just not necessary at all. Adding traps in Ritual Sanctuary deck hurts consistently a bit. Ranks, uh, see, Ritual Sanctuary decks in general prefer spells. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to start off with just a single trap. The new trap that's going to come out tomorrow. I probably won't be live because it's. I think it's going to come out like 1.30 in the morning my time. And I usually fall asleep quick now. I used to be able to stay up late really easy, but I fall asleep quickly now. Um, I think it's going to be like a normal or an SR. 
I think it's going to be an SR. But yeah, the new the new Mikonko trap is really good, man. It's really good. It's really it's really good non-destruction removal. And then since it becomes an equip card, it'll activate the effects of your Mikonkos. So let's say I end the board with a Nini with no equip. Now I just steal their monster. My Nini's effect is live, and then I can activate Nini again and steal another monster. And with my end board, I'll probably have my IP make a goddess. So that's like stealing three of their monsters in one turn. There's not much decks that can come back from that. Okay, what deck is this? Is this just speedroids or? Bro, yo, we got doubled Cyber Tutu and Diviner and Benten. We could literally activate all their effects. Cause Cyber Cyber Tutu Bond is not a oh, not a once per turn. Oh, he's playing the XYZ armor engine. I kind of wanted to test this out, but it takes up too much spots in the extra deck. Like, this is just a free draw. Because the Mikankos are level 3s. So it's possible to use this. Detach two materials and just draw a card. Like, that is, that's awesome. 2,500 attack as well. And it becomes like an equip or some shit. So it, ha it has a little bit of synergy as well. But I haven't tested it yet. Because the monster they make... The rank, uh, what is it, 7, 9, or whatever it is? It's really good. I want to use it. He searched the trap. What does the trap do again? XYZ summon. Banish this card from the graveyard. Target XYZ control. Equip with one other XYZ window. I had a field of graveyard. The fact that you can search this, it might be it might be good at one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so it just, uh, it's probably just a Mikanko deck. Yeah, this is a Mikanku deck. He's going to search the equip. This card is destroyed. Arabesque? No, he's going to add it back to the hand. That's actually pretty good. That's actually a pretty good combo. In a Mikanku deck, anyway. Because it literally searches Arabesque, and then you just bounce it back to your hand. You bypass the 2,000 damage to deal that you deal to yourself. And then get back Pillar for next turn. Yeah, it's not too bad. But I don't think there's a way to search that. Jewel add the trap. I don't know which one he's going to add, though. Rivalry. Show me Kong with our one face of monster on the field. Equip it with one equip spell from your deck. Oh, you equip any monster. So he can equip my monster with, like, Axe, axe of Fools. Interesting. Uh, discard this. Ceremony. Ceremony is good. You can activate both of its effects in one turn. It has a graveyard effect. You can just banish and then mill any Mikanko card. So he's probably going to send an, an equip spell, which he then is going to equip using Ohime's effect. Uh, is that Rondo? Oh, shit. That's disgusting. So he's going to be able to steal my monster. Permanently. Not till the end of the turn. Like, he steals it forever. So that, that's kind of nasty. Um, definitely. Well, the monster he steals is also going to be negated. So if I normal summon this. Um... It will be negated. If I normal summon this and he chains Rondo, uh, it's not only going to negate my mill, but he's also going to steal my monster so I can't tribute it. So, like, I'm actually in a, in a pretty weird spot. Um, so, I'm thinking maybe we do this first. Special summon this. Tributing uh, Ben 10 first. Man, this ain't, this ain't good. Like, uh, my, my hand right now, this is not good to deal against the Mikanko board. I don't really have much options. XYZ summon one monster you control using monsters you control? What, is he going to rank up with Armor Fortress? F 
for each material and equip card it has. Okay, nothing you can do on my turn. Okay, um, what are we going to add to our hand? Um, I'm thinking Trias because we can we can tribute when he activates Rondo. And then Rondo will just... Uh, it's like a two for one. Ohime won't... Rondo... Oh, he may will resolve for no effect, and then Rondo d d stays in the graveyard. Yeah. Uh, searching Ohime uh, can give me an Arabesque, which can help me just deal with oh their Ohime. So I can add their Ohime back to the hand if I search an Arabesque instead of a uh, Trias, which also helps me deal... Because I, because I still have Cyber Tutuban, so I can still tribute. Actually, I can't because if I summon, oh wait, I'm not summoning Ohime. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's grab Ohime. Because I'm not ritual summoning Ohime. Now we activate it. He's kind of in the better position than I am right now. I can't target Ohime. Oh, shit. Man, I forgot about that. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, that's, uh, I kind of fucked up there. I totally forgot about Jewel. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck, what can I do now then? I kind of fucked up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, we can deal with the XYZ, and then maybe he will waste Rondo, but he maybe he'll waste Rondo on the monster I summon. Uh, we'll get rid of... Yeah, sashed. Alistair Zepper, welcome to the YouTube stream. Yeah, this will go back to the extra. Banish this card from your graveyard. Target one extra monster from your shoulder. with one other extra monster from your field or graveyard. Wait, why is he doing that? That doesn't... That doesn't do anything. Okay, so he's just gonna get rid of my monster. Yeah, uh, I guess that. Yeah, I guess that that was a good play. Negate with the trap. Wait, where's the negate? What negate? Okay, we're gonna summon Hari. Hari's gonna activate. I wonder if he's gonna steal Hari. I hope he does. I hope he steals Hari right now. No, he didn't. Shit. Okay. Damn, this ain't good. Uh, this ain't looking good. So I'm thinking maybe we don't normal summon Diviner. You know what? I'm going to do something risky. I'm going to do something really risky. I'm going to equip this to my monster. Wait, does this target? Fuck, it targets. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this targets too. So uh, what I was going to do is go battle phase. And then bounce Ohime. But this card targets. It's like, fuck, man. What can I even do? Damn, this is all I got. That Rondo is a, is a big fucking problem, man. If he activates it right now, I'm screwed. Although, I don't know how, how he's going to deal damage unless he, like, kaijus me. 
He probably plays Kaijus. Because this is like a... I'm pretty sure this is like pure Mikanko deck. Okay, he did, did not activate Rondo. Okay, cool. Um... So what I could do is actually mill this. Because Rondo will still like interrupt my plays. If I ritual summon Ohime. I got 30 seconds. If I ritual summon Ohime. Which wasn't the original plan. But I think I'll I think I will. I'm gonna grab the ritual spell. I'm gonna tribute the Hari and the Nini right now, which will cause both my equips to go to the grave. Which which may make him activate Rondo right now. He might actually take Diviner not realizing. Yeah, he's doing it now. Who's he gonna? Wait, does, does it not show who he's targeting? Who did he equip it to? Oh, okay. That's fine. That works. Because this, this is non-target. These pops, I believe, are non-target. So, get rid of Jewel. And then get rid of Rondo. Wait, what? It sends my monster to the grave? And I also forgot I can't destroy Jewel. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god. God damn it. Man, I really fucked up. I forgot the equip card protects it. I fucking play the fucking card, dude. I fucking play the card, dude. Man. What up, Mando? Brother! Ugh, too much thinking, bro. Yes, but I wasn't looking at chat. Yeah, so we were supposed to pop both of the equips. Okay, what I, what I didn't know, since I don't play Rondo... Was that, I guess, Rondo sends the equipped monster to the grave? When this card leaves the field, send the equipped monster to the graveyard? Bro, Rondo's disgusting. The reason I don't play it is because I can't consistently... I can't consistently get out Ohime. And this card's just uh, not that good without o Ohime. And you also need to control a Mikanko. But man, this card is disgusting. It steals your monster and negates its effect. And then if you get rid of this card, your monster's destroyed. That's disgusting. What do you mean, we not ranking up? What's this we talk? I'm ranking up. Okay? Speak for yourself. God damn it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you for the follow, uh, Mad Mac. Mad Mac um, 97 just followed. Thank you for the follow, Mad Mac cool. 97. Welcome to the stream. Bro, Cyber Tutu Tutubon has been clutch as fuck every time I draw it. Yo, we got a Therion deck. I love I love my Therions. I still need to play Therions again because 
I have not played them ever since they got their support. They got their rank, uh, I think, 8, was it? That wasn't in the game when I when I first played Therion's. Like, they really need that rank 8, and they finally got it. Now, is this... Th I think this might be pure Therion's, because Therion's, he's playing Reaper. During your opponent's turn, you can target one Therion card in your spell trap zone, one card your opponent controls, return them to the hand. And he's also got the negate now. Summoning a level 3? What, is he going to do uh, Baron to floor? Or is he just going to use the Psychic? Uh, he's going to maybe send it to the graveyard and summon the level 8 Psychic? Oh, no, it's just the Punk Engine. Okay, never mind. He's uh, doing the Punk Engine. What's his end board going to be? I was not looking. What did he search? Foxy Tune, of course. Oh, I forget. The dragon got banned, right? Uh, what's it? What's it called again? I forgot what it's called. The Synchro. That one's banned, right? I literally forgot its name. Is it Chaos Dragon? Is that what its name is? Uh, this fusion summon card. Special summon two punks with different names uh, from each other from the under deck, except level eights. Uh, he's gonna summon the one that searches the trap, right? So now he'll have also he'll also have another negate. So one omni negate, um, or a bounce, and then now he'll have a negate. Uh, no, he did not summon it. Uh, add a, he's gonna add the field spell, I guess. When your opponent activates a card. Or effect that targets a punk, or when your opponent's monster targets one for an attack. Quick effect, draw a card. Field spells a pot of greed. Once per turn, you can banish a punk in your graveyard. Special one to punk. Uh, you can just like a Draw a card. Oi. Is that Synchro 8? What does Deer Note do again? Does he summon one from the graveyard when he's used his material or something? This card is sent from the field of the graveyard. Target a punk in your graveyard. Special summon? Yeah. Okay, this is the one that searches the hand trap. At level 3 psychic. Can you make it psychic for me? Can you make it psychic for me? Arabesque is going to put in work. Arabesque is such a good freaking card, man. We're going to have to ditch Hidden Armory. Uh, for a ritual sanctuary and search Ben 10 and then tribute Ben 10 with uh, Cyber Tutu giving us our Diviner and then normal summon Diviner we can also uh, dodge some stuff if we quick effect tribute with Trias what is that? Neo Punk Madara Madam Spider um, if you synchro summon using this card you can target one Punk once you control can uh, make a second attack during each battle phase this turn And that's his normal summon. Add a trap. Okay, there we go. That's the one that adds the trap. So now he has another negate. If your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your punk card, let's card in the graveyard. Plus one this card. Target one effect monster. Party controls negate effects. Then if you control punk monster, gain life points. You can switch attack. Now he draws another card. Wait, where did he get the first draw from?
Oh, this is a twice per turn? That's why you said pot of greed? Bro, I never knew that. I literally never noticed that it's a twice per turn. Alright. Uh, uh, he has a plant target in the grave or a Therion? How did he summon this? Oh, he had a... I don't know how he got that second copy there. Did he mill? Did he mill when I wasn't looking? So, what's he, what's he going to search? The field spell? To protect his monsters? Or... A, there's also a theory on trap. He could be playing the trap. Just to set up some interruptions. Let's see. Either the field spell... No, he's going to go for a draw. So he's probably going to get rid of Borea and draw two. Man, you four cards, man. No, he got rid of Regulus. So that means he has another theory on. He's got to make some room, though. Uh, he can make a Baron because this is a level three tuner and this is a level seven, which he probably will. He'll probably make a Baron and I'm in big trouble. There he is. There's the Baron. I don't know if I can break this board. Because I'm sure he'll get back the Regulus and get another negate. <sighs> God damn. Today's Wednesday, right? Good. What's he making now? Is that two level eights? Oh, he's going to make that vampire guy? No, nope. gigantic. All right, so yeah, he's going to get back his Regulus. He might even search the um the big guy, the level 10. <laughs> the field spell, okay. He added the field spell and not a mon. Oh yeah, the monster. The the field spell adds a monster. It didn't matter because he already had a monster. Oi yo yo! He's still not done yet, man. He got. He got plays, bro. I never seen Therion's pop this hard, man. They never popped off this hard when I used them. Got the monster by Runic deck. Yeah, I fucking I hate Runic decks, man. Bro, Runic by itself is already nasty. And then you have all these Runic variants. Runic this, Runic that. Runic this, Runic that. Man, man, man. Fuck Runic. What is this, Rose Shaman? You can discard draw a card. Banish the card from graveyard. Target a Pine Monster from graveyard. Out of your hand. Then if you added a Pine Monster whose original level center, I wasn't done reading. Level center higher, you can send one Pine Monster from deck to the graveyard. Why have I never seen this card? Is this new? I've literally never seen this card before. That's actually really good. That's a really good graveyard effect. There's the vampire. What am I going to see next? A fucking tear? A Sheeran? It was a bestial sword soul variant? How the heck? How does that even work? Okay, so he's got two negates. Uh, he milled nothing good. Good. Okay, what about me? Bro, he milled two diviners, man. I literally only have one in my deck now. He didn't even, he didn't even mill any spells. <laughs> Come on, man. <sighs> Not even a single spell. I needed some spells in my grave, man. Bro, and, and we were about to top deck a diviner. Damn. Wait a minute, he can special summon, right? Any one of them? Damn. Uh, it's been so long since I played this guy, I forgot. He can also special summon, I think, one of them, right? Diviner, don't tell me he has a target. Wait a minute. He can make another Synchro 10 if he has one. If he plays... Bro, I swear to God, if this guy plays two Baron. <laughs> what if he... Does he play another Synchro 10, maybe? Target one card on the field, destroy it, or return to the hand. Return my diviners to the hand, please and thank you. 
All right, so that Regulus will have the effect of whatever Therion in his grave. And he still has that Rose card in the grave as well. Target a plant monster, give it back to the hand. And if it's level 7 or higher, send a plant from the deck to the graveyard. That Rose Warrior card is Venom support? Wait, how? It is? Really? Are you sure? What is it? It tributes? Wait. Uh, tributes itself to draw a card? Oh. Uh, Venu, when you, when a monster leaves a field or something, or when a monster is tributed, Venu, I think you can, it lets you like add a monster from the graveyard to your hand or something. I was actually looking at Venu. I was looking at it a couple days ago. Like, it's not too bad. It's a really good pre-prep target. I believe it's also a light fairy, right? The only problem is level 8. It's just a random ass level. Uh, but it's not bad. Venu's not bad. I'm... Oh, you know... You know what other card is good um it, it's a it's a wind dragon level nine ritual that's like a hand trap changing with runic is deadly he banishes the top of all the runic effects and then lowers the attack of every banish card oh yeah that's nasty all right i don't think i'm breaking this board IP Mask Arena. Dude, this guy is taking forever. This guy thinks he's me. Going through all his options. So he's now he's got um two Omni Negates, a Monster Negate, and IP. Like, with this hand, I don't think I'm beating that. Can I target this guy? Arabesque will, will eat one uh, of these negates, though. I'm probably going to have to get rid of this one. Utopic FO. I think he is the the scariest one. His combos are just getting started. Don't tell me that, Spindy. Don't, don't do this to me, Spindy. Oh, yeah. And on top of that, he still has the, the trap card that negates a monster, too. All right, now he's going to add the Borea back to his hand, which he probably might be able to... No, he already summoned Borea. He, he's not going to summon it. He already summoned Borea. Uh, he'll be able to mill a plant. Probably another Borea. I wonder if he plays any other plants. This is going to search another Therion monster. Maybe the level 10? If he summons level 10... If he searches level 10, he's a Chad. Okay. If he doesn't... Fuck this guy. Didn't search any... Bro, he didn't search anything... Don't tell me he doesn't have any targets. Now you can't work for it? What did you do to that work? I thought you fucked your arm up. And on top of that, Max Sieg! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Holy shit, this guy. Damn, he really popped off, son. Uh, I'm, I'm fucked. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing, bro. Alright, here's the first. He's definitely going to negate this. He has to negate this. I'll, I'll be surprised if he doesn't. Probably with Baron. Baron or the Therion. I'll be surprised if he doesn't. Yeah, there it is. Want to redeem a replay if I can? Uh, yeah. You're a subscriber, so you get a replay. So there's the first. Oh shit, it stays on the field? No way, dude. Oh, he- Bro, he fucked up! He was supposed to negate it with Baron! Oh, let's go! We have a chance, boys! Now he has to use Baron. We just ate up two negates. He's not negating! 
skating brother what the fuck dude that's crazy no way bro because regulus doesn't negate and destroy so it stays on the field so i can activate the the actual effect that's crazy he misplayed bro this guy spent all that time making this nasty board only for him to fuck up on our first card sweet so we just ate up two negates we may have a chance here boys we may have a chance uh the only problem is ritual sanctuary If he negates this, that'll kind of suck. I mean, if he negates right now, that's fine because we have another one. But if he negates the effect, like if I activate it and he negates it, that's kind of not good. Discard a spell. Um, hmm, I'm debating because if I discard hidden armory, we still haven't normal summoned yet. We get to mill a spell. Let's ditch the extra copy of Ritual Sanctuary. Because if this does get negated, we could search another equip and then potentially make another play. He didn't negate. Da, 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 da. All right, we're going to search. Uh, ba, 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 ben 10? If I grab Ohime, Ohime searches the Ritual spell. I gotta grab Benton. We're now going to special summon by tributing Benton. He he's definitely not gonna summon Ohime though. He's definitely hundred percent gonna negate that. There's no way there's no way in hell he's ever gonna let me summon Ohime. I mean, we could have tried. He's fucked up already. Oh, he still has the bounce. What's he going to bounce? Hari? Um, sure. Its effect's negated, so the bounce doesn't really hurt us that much. But we do lose an equip card now. Now we grab Diviner. So the, the thing about Diviner... Um, you know what's funny? We don't even have to summon this one. We could just special summon the one from the graveyard. So that means I can activate this. But what the... What can I... Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, you know what? We're going to activate this. Yo, let's go. Yo, we milled the Mikanko dance. Oh my god, bro. The he oh, let's go. Negated. So he negated the activation, which means I I I keep my normal summon. Bro, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. We got all our plays, man. No way, dude. This is good. This is really real good. There's still a delay, though. I forgot we're under max E, so he probably has something in his hand. Um, we are going to pop the field spell. Oh, the IP Masquerina. I totally forgot. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to pop IP. We're going to have to force, force out the IP. Because it, let's say he makes a Nightmare. He's obviously going to target Diviner. And we just quick effect tribute. We're going to be able to summon Mikanko from the graveyard. Where it's going to be 3k. So not being able to destroy, being destroyed by battle is not too much of a problem. Um, I believe I also get my Valk plays. The only problem is if he if he plays Nibiru. Oh shit. Three? Four? Four for Appaloosa. Okay, that's... uh, Damn. 
Okay, this is this is gonna be two negates if he if he just if he decides to negate. This is not too bad because if he negates, he loses eight hundred, and we could just attack. We could just attack over him now. Also, he has another card. He has, has another negate. So if he negates again, he's down to eight hundred. It's not the worst thing in the world. Oh wait, he bounced Hari. Oh shit, I thought Hari was in the grave. Alright, so we could make him negate one more time. Actually, wait. I th for some reason, I thought I had a sesh in the grave. I don't. Uh, this and... We want the Eclipse, I think, in the grave. And I, I forgot we're under Max E. Alright, so we, we did it. We broke the we broke his board. Oh I forgot the field spell! Oh I forgot I forgot the field spell! Yo, I forgot the field spell, dude! Shit. I forgot the field spell. This guy is lucky, dude. He's bro. He 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 bounced Hari. I thought it was in the graveyard. That sucks. But luckily, he only got the draw. I think like what three, two or two, two or three cards. As much as I would love to go into elf, he we're under max E, so we're just gonna pass. So he still has a negate. Um, uh, man, if Hari, bro, if he didn't bounce Hari and it was in the graveyard. We'd be able to um, inflict 800 and then also bounce the field spell at the same time. I believe it's during the damage step. Let me check. At the end of the damage step? Um, it's at the end. So I guess we would just bounce Appaloosa potentially. Uh, what does this do again? Uh, target with your card in your bed, add it to your hand, and then place it at the bottom of the deck. So he gets a negate. Um, I don't know, man. Do we run Zeus package? Nah. Elf, gigantic, what? Zeus? Oh, downer Zeus? There's just not enough room. The extra deck is kind of tight. I could probably... <sighs> Fuck. I have 8,000 life points. Um... So, I mean, him attacking us isn't the worst thing, but, like, he has a f pretty full hand. Ah, fuck. Okay, whatever. I'll tribute it. It's kind of late. If I was, if I was, if I was going to do this, I should have done it before the Regulus play. See, even though he's negating it with Appaloosa, he still is potentially going to negate Diviner. See, if I had done it earlier, who knows? Maybe he would have um, still negated my Trias, which would then let my Diviner activate. Probably, probably negate this. If he doesn't, I'd be surprised. It's cool that I keep trying my hand, though. What up, Ziller? But now he's down. One more card, but he still has a full hand. As long as we don't get OTK'd this turn, we have a good chance. We have a very good chance. Fuck. Damn, this ain't looking good, man. 
Yeah, I really fucked up not activating Trias sooner. These misplays, these misplays matter. Summons it in defense? He summoned it in defense, so is he not going for game? Does he not have game? Uh, I think he can make a... He could make an Unruled Goddess, but I, I don't know why he would. Uh, damn, bro. Don't tell me he still got more punk cards, man. Okay, I think we're fucked. <sighs> man, that w it was close. We were so close, man. That bounce interruption actually helped him a lot. If Hari was in my graveyard rather than my hand. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. What's he gonna make? It's like, okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's game. Damn. We, we were, we did pretty good, though. Take a pee. Alright, I need to take a piss. No fucking way, dude. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yo, he actually disconnected. Why the fuck did he do that? Do what? What happened? Nice, dude. We take those. Uh, you're following me, right, Fuji? Persona 1? Bro, Persona 1? I don't even know what Persona 1 looks like. Persona's dope, though. Uh... What what's your name on here? King Fuji? I don't think I'm fo Oh yeah, I am following you. You're not online though? Okay. Ah. Uh, make sure replay's not private. We got these. I'm going to take a piss. I'll be right back. Which, which replay is it? 
the first one. It's the first one. It's the first one. What's that noise? We got branded bistro, branded bistro. Ooh, damn. Tribute. Bring back. Bro, I love this card's artwork so much, man. It's so fucking cool. The Lobelion is a beast. What's he making with this? What are you gonna make with this one? Brand Fusion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cartesia? Cartesia is cool too. Search another Cartesia. Wait, you couldn't make uh you couldn't make a mirror jade or anything? Could you have made a mirror jade? I don't know. I don't play branded. Finishing rank number five. Damn. Oh, sinful spoils, dude. Yo, he got that royal bonfer. He got the royal bonfer, bro. Win rate fifty four percent. Damn, Poplar. Got the Linky, Juice. What's he ban? What are you banishing with Juice? Oh, it's gonna trigger right when this card's banished. Uh, yeah, search. Ash and Link Rebo. Was that Oak? Oak should not be able to target banished monsters, bro. That's crazy. How you, how are you going to target Graveyard and Banished Zone? Yeah, just Snake Eyes going into their usual shenanigans. Flame Burge artwork is dope as well. I like I like Flame Burge's artwork. Konami got a thing for dragons. What's he gonna send with that? The link? Yeah, the link. Which attack? Ooh, a thousand bucks to spare. The Royal Fame Flame Birch. Any royal is a good royal. There ain't no such thing as a bad royal unless it's a runic card. You know what I'm saying? I think the royal foil goes well with Flame Burge's colors. The red and the, like, purplish. Grand Dusk. I still need a royal Valk, man. I ain't got no royal Valks, dude. Get that back to the deck. Imp Wait, something got imprimed? Grand Dusk. Grand Dusk is, has dope, dope artwork as well. Wait, do... Do I have a royal da grand dusk? I forget. I think I do. I think I have a royal one. I gotta check after this. Quick effect, bring back the IP. With only a thousand, you're lucky he's not playing the volcanic version. Grand dusk banished to special summon, right? Triggering the princess. It's gonna pop the flame burst to trigger the flame burst. Right? Oh yeah, this one makes all their attack zero or something. Did it already activate Flame Burge? I guess he must have already activated it. Triple Tactics Thrust! Harpy's Feather Duster! Okay. He's activating it now. He didn't activate it earlier, though. I don't know why, though. Maxi. Wait. Why is he only chaining Maxi now? Is it because uh, he couldn't respond to it earlier or something? Albion. He got that Albion. There's the Ash Jade. Zero. Wait, it makes all of their attacks zero? Even the Lynx? Wait, what? Even the links? 
Join the main phase, you can change the attack of all monsters killed in the field. Oh, except level 8 or higher fusions. Okay, I got it. I got it mixed up. I thought it's, it can only make level 8s and lower 0. That's disgusting. That's an OTK, right? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. That's disgusting. Just make all of them 0. That's, that might as well just say, like, destroy every monster on the field. Anyways, I believe I have a Royal Grand Dusk. Did I spell it right? Don't tell me I fucking dismantled it. That's not how you spell it? Let me search Dusk. I knew it! I knew it! I wasn't crazy! I wasn't crazy. You darn kids always calling me crazy. Brandon, Bestial Valks win? Mm, it could be possible. I just don't have the cards. It very well could be possible. Yeah, I do. I got a Royal. Um, I think there's something there. I think I could work something out. If I was a millionaire and I could buy every card in the game. Uh, this card is using something. Cell level 6 or higher, light or dark. Monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. That's good. Send Trias as well. Monster special summon uh, of your opponents. Uh, if a monster special summon by your opponent's activated monster effect, you can banish this card from the field of the graveyard. Special summon a dogmatic monster from the deck or one despier monster from the extra deck. Ah, dust, Supe Dustwalker. Good times. Yeah, I played that in my Goaty deck. I totally forgot this card existed. Oh, yeah. While I'm looking at my deck, let me look at my extra deck and see if there's, like, something in my extra deck, like, I just never make. Uh, honestly, the Sacred Tree Beast has not come up even once. All the links come up. All these links, I make them a lot. So, I could throw in a third Chaos Angel. Uh, so like these two I, I like never make nine lives cat and sacred tree beast they're good but they just never come up uh, i don't quite want to give up nine lives cat just yet uh the only reason why i haven't been able well like i could make it but the, the reason why its effect just hasn't come up is because every time i do look at my opponent's graveyard there's like nothing i want Second Arc Light. Do you want to summon it more often? Uh, yeah. Might as well do that. For now, two Arc Lights. Better than uh, nothing. Better than having that monster I just never summon. So now we have one for milling and one for summoning. I don't know how often two of them is going to come up, though. Imagine two arc lights being equipped to the Leviathan. Uh, oh, he made. We got the ritual spell. Okay. Oh, this hand sucks, though. Oh my god, this hand is so bad. We don't even have a like a summon. Wow, and our only our only play instantly gets ashed. That's crazy. Uh, most of your bestial royal? You spend money on the game, boy? You spending mad money on the game? Alright. Um, we could, Arab we don't have an Arabesque target. If we search Hari, we have nothing to equip it to. So we got to go Nini 
and then special summon Nini from our hand, and that's literally all we have. Like, this hand sucks. At least it's an interruption, though. Oh, yeah, and I have to discard, too? Fuck. Damn, that sucks. I have to discard as well. Like, this hand is so bad. It's so fucking bad. The Giga Chat is here. I've been here all day. Maxi, now he gets to draw one card. Yeah, this is all we got. Pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Oh, against Snake Eyes, really? Okay, what do I steal if I can even if I can even steal? Maybe the uh the flame bridge once he makes it? Fuck this deck. Best deck right now. Super annoying. Super or annoying. Diablo star. I'm a motherfucking star. I'm a motherfucking star. He's going to send Flame Bridge. Oh, actually. No, he doesn't have any. Oh, he, he still sent it. Doesn't have a target for Flame Bridge, but he still sent it. Um, uh, Ash. Normal Summon. Poplar. I mean, search Poplar. What's Poplar going to grab? Uh, he's already got the Field Spell. He already activated this. Gonna turn my toggle on. Uh, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one monster card treated as a new spell on the field, special limit to your field. Bro, that's gonna be clutch if we can activate that for us. Subversion? Ah, shit. We have to steal Ash because then they'll get back. They'll just get back. Um, Flame Burge. Man, that sucks. So now we're we're in a top deck situation. We still have Ohime's effect, but we still have to discard. So let's see. Let's see what we get. We could always uh, search Dance and then ditch Dance to potentially bring back Nini if Nini goes to the grave. Did we stop their plays though? I think we, we might have. Because they already activated this. I doubt they're playing one for one. Does he want to go battle phase or is he going to pass? I He might actually pass. Because I don't think he wants this in the grave just yet. Nope. It's fine. Okay. He's going for the Dimash. That's cool. At least, at least that means we kind of got rid of one monster. We also stopped them from bringing back Flame Verge. They haven't made Link Kribo yet. Uh, they didn't make IP. They didn't make Princess. Are they going to set pass? What's going on? What is going on? They're going to link into what? Phoenix to pop my Nini? That's what I wanted. Thank you very much. He thought he did something, but he's actually helping me. 
Now that it's in the graveyard. Oh, shit. Bro, why do they... F oh, my God, man. This fucking card, dude. Somehow they always find a way to resolve their Flame Verge, man. Oh, my God. Just when we think we're okay, man. God damn it. Okay. Oh, what are they going to make? The, is this still... What, they're going to summon Oak, right? And then Oak... They got rid of the field spell. Interesting. And then Oak bring back... Something. What is that face down? Appaloosa? Fuck. Oh, well, that's that's game. Man, they just had to have a second copy in their hand. Like, bro, I hate when these these decks just have everything. Thank God! Holy shit! That was uh king of the games right there. Fucking top deck. Oh my god. Get rid of that shit. Holy schmoly macaroni, dude. And we get a search. Oh my god. We got really lucky there. Holy crap. Imperm? Imperm does nothing. Literally nothing, brother. Yeah, Flame Bridge, like, by any means, if it hits the graveyard, it's activating, which is disgusting. Konami did that shit on purpose. I hate when they do shit like this. All right, we're going to grab this, and we're going to discard it as well. Get that shit out of here. He made a big, big mistake. Now we're going to activate it. Bring back Nini. Now we could Ritual Summon. Uh, do I want to, though? Because Nini will be banished. Yeah, I'll pop the... The Poplar will be popped. Uh, we don't want to pop Flame Burge, though. So, I kind of do... Um, do I want it on the field, or do I want Flame Burge in their hand? I'm going to be asking chat. What do you guys think? Do we want Flame Burge on the field? Or is it better to put it in their hand? I think on the field is better. Although I don't think it matters if they if they um if they if they have uh this card. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one snake eyes or uh, in your graveyard. Everyone says hand. Okay, so that means um. Let me double check something. They don't have Link Rebo yet. So that means... I already activated this. I've already activated both equips. So after I Ritual Summon, I'm not summoning any other monsters. I'd have to wait till the next turn. They have one card in their hand. I'll be able to equip this to Ohime. Ohime can't be destroyed. Um... Is it better to keep these two on the field? Because then I could steal a monster. But Ash needs to go. And we can't bounce it to the hand. And we can't keep it on the field. Because it has the effect. So uh, we have to pop it. So we, we have to. We have to Ritual Summon. There's no choice. Because if Ash stays on the field, we, we lose. So we'll, we'll, we'll also we'll we'll pop we'll pop the ash. We won't pop th that one, and then we'll we'll bounce it though. We'll attack, and then put the flame bridge back to the hand. Back to the hand. All right. 
Okay, so we know one card in their hand. We know they have this card in the graveyard, which is so fucking annoying that they have this in the graveyard. Add one level one fire monster from your deck to your hand and then place the targeted monster at the bottom of the deck. Oh shit, so never mind. It didn't even matter what we did. It literally did not matter whatsoever. They still get another Ash. They can literally just search one right now. Bro, I never even realized that's from the deck. Bro, this card is fucking... This card is definitely going to get hit. Holy shit. Once once it gets... Once this deck hits, gets hit, this will probably go to one. Dude. It has two effects that gives you a level one from the deck. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's... That's insane. They only play one copy? Wait, for real? Okay, then I see it getting banned. That is fucking disgusting, man. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I'm kind of fucked. They're just going to put me in the back row. Unless... Uh, they already played Subversion. Can they recycle it or use it? Do they, I know they don't play more than one. It's not in the graveyard. Did they recycle it? Where did it go? Well, I'm fucked. Bro, that card is disgusting. It literally has two effects that does the exact same thing. Like, who the fuck designed this shit? Whoever designed this shit was smoking crack. Literally. Whoever made this card was on fucking crack. That shit is too good. Bro, it literally has two of the exact same effects in one card. The fuck? I literally never even, like, fully read its graveyard effect. Like, that is, that is, that is, that is dummy thick, bro. Dummy thick. Some people do because it's nice to uh, hard draw, but you can play one if you want more hand uh, traps or board breakers. Yeah, that makes sense. If that, that That's why they'd only be playing one. Just add more hand traps. Like, Jesus Christ. Dark Dragoon. Honestly, I'm surprised why they, like, have not introduced that card yet. I mean, like, Snake Eyes is a better... Like, Snake Snake Eyes as a deck already is, is better than fucking Dragoon. The fuck? I mean, they could just play around and Dragoon's negate. I don't know why they're so scared of drag, uh, adding Dragoon. I mean, yeah, Dragoon's an annoying card, but... I mean, there's so many... There's so much worse cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! If they add Dragoon, though, I might I might play it in my deck. Because I, I play Magician Souls. We can squeeze in a Dark Magician. As well. Because you're putting another Omni Negate into the game. Like, that's going to do anything. You say that until Snake Eye starts making Vayter for it? <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely going to happen. Uh, every meta deck just abuses everything in the game. Why you summon my fire monster, bitch? Why you did that? Ban Verte? Um, the Verte should have been a archetype exclusive. It should only be able to fusion summon like Predaplant monsters. It should have said send one Predaplant fusion card or whatever. Or, I don't know, like some other sort of restriction where like just not anyone could just use it. Ningirisu? Does that help? Uh, Once per turn you can send one card from each player's field to the graveyards. He gets to choose? Okay, yeah, that's game. Might as well activate this for the funsies. Activate for the funsies, brother. Yeah, Verite is definitely bannable.
Wait, but does he have anything after this though? Like, can he kill me? I have forty-five hundred. If he doesn't, if he doesn't kill me this turn, ah oh, shit! He just what did he send that with? All right, that's game. Oh my god, fuck this deck, bro. Why the fuck did Konami give them bonfire as well? Like, why this deck didn't even need bonfire? Like, why are you giving this deck more support? It literally just came out. It's the best deck in the game. And you give it nasty support. Like, come on, dude. I swear to God, if someone tells me it's for Volcanics, I'm going to shoot you. No, they didn't. It's not just for Volcanics, okay? Volcanics second. They added it secondly for Volcanics. It's for Ashen. Are they Pyro? I've been saying the same thing about Branded for uh, years, but no one cared. What? Banned? Branded Fusion? Uh, banned Branded Fusion? Is Branded Fusion bannable? I know Branded Fusion is good, but bannable... Um, like, I think, uh, I think at one is okay. Even though it's a really good card. I think I, th I keep alternating wins and losses. Yeah, bro, we keep alternating wins and losses, man. Isn't Brandon Fusion already at one? Bam, Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade's not even that strong, but I mean it's second effect. Uh, yeah, its second effect is 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 pretty strong. It's a first first effect, not not too much. The first effect is really good because it it can send like extra deck cards to the grave. Um, like the banishing effect, it's a really good effect, but I don't see a problem with the banishing effect. I could see a problem with the second, the like the effect of like wiping the field, because it's that like that effect is so annoying. We finally drew foolish burial against toxic ass cash. Get this shit out of my face. Get this garbage out of my fucking face. Oh, and yeah, he threw in the snake eyes too. Yeah, what, 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 why, why not? Why fucking not? It only makes sense, right? It makes perfect sense. Annoying ass. Alright, okay, what can I do? We got uh, Foolish Burial, so we can send Trias. Although, that's not going to do anything yet. Uh, preparation of Rights. Can search. Ohime. We have more Mikonko cards in the hand. It's not really much we can search. Um, it all depends what I draw next. Brand is just better Shadal. Speaking of Shadal, fuck Winda. That, that shit should be banned. Winda needs to get hit. I fucking hate that card. It's a fucking floodgate bitch ass. So easy to summon. So annoying. I think it can't be destroyed by card effects either, right? Either by battle or card effects, I forget. It's so annoying. Windows so fucking stupid. <laughs> if I add too many hand traps, uh, my my deck is gonna suck. My deck doesn't have all these like one card combos and then like a million ways to get to the one card combo so I, like i don't have room to add hand traps like i'm just gonna keep bricking ban that bitch ban that bitch on the bird man i just i just hate how you get what Yu -Gi -Oh has become 
it's like a perfect example of a game that just got ruined due to its uh, monetization. In the form... In the form of ban lists, power creep, and these fucking top tier decks. They make something super strong, make a deck, the best deck, and they'll hit it in ways of the ban list. And then they'll just nerf it. And then maybe make something like some sort of support that can like bring the deck back and then completely destroy the deck and then make the next best deck and then just keep doing that over and over again like twice like what they do that like what twice three times a year rinse and repeat non-stop cycle and they make sure the cards get are super expensive people buy them um and then if there's like one card that's like really good They'll hit it on the ban list just because it's like a really old card that is just really good. And then they'll make a retrain of it. That everybody wants. It's all politics, man. Oh my god, this fucking... Oh my god, this hand, dude. Oh, this hand. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, um... Nom, nom, nom. Princess in the Grave... Not much I could do about that. If monsters as well as in the graveyard, you can target one fire monster, you can control one monster, your opponent controls, destroy them. Uh, he won't be able to destroy the Mekonkos. <sighs> what do I hit, man? Does he have Link? Yeah, he has Link Creepo in the grave. Unicorn. Uh, I don't really give a shit about Unicorn. Uh, if this card is destroyed, a Link 3 lore monster on the field is destroyed. Well, this card's in the graveyard. Uh, during your opponent's turn, target one monster, treat as a continuous spell. Okay, so they bring back IP. Whatever monster I try to hit with this card, they'll just IP it away. Alright, but what am I hitting? There's uh maybe the He's definitely gonna link away Flame Burge, a hundred percent. So let's hit the link. He's definitely gonna link Flame Burge away so that he can trigger its effect. And then they still got the field spell too, which is really annoying. Instantly activates IP. Am I? Is he gonna use the link? Can he even use the link as a material for whatever he's making? No, he can't. Appaloosa, man, Arabesque would have been such a good target on Appaloosa. But like, there was really not much I could do to bait Appaloosa with this hand. Uh, and that's that's pretty much a game I lose from here. I'm gonna summon Hari, and he's gonna negate Hari. If he doesn't negate Hari, that'll actually be crazy for me. If he doesn't negate Hari, oh my god, how many cards are you gonna fucking add, bro? Cash still is annoying. They added fucking Arise Heart. It was so fucking stupid. I despise Cash more than any other deck ever printed in the game. I would not shed a single tear if every card of the word Cash Tier printed is banned for the rest of eternity. Me neither. Oh, man. We got Ash, bro. Man. Wait. I activated it, right? Yeah, I did. Ah. Uh... I mean, it was it was already game anyway. Let's just see if we can bait out. Mm. No, I need to activate this now. 
yeah, I I do believe cash should never have been printed. Like it's it's a deck that should never have been made. Like it's it's so weird how Konami just doesn't give a fuck. They they, they make such the, the most toxic like degenerate dog shit cards imaginable and they don't like they don't give a fuck. Like it's so weird. It's so weird how they treat this game. Uh, we want a mail sesh. They make such horribly designed cards, man. And they're proud of that shit. They're actually proud of that shit. The only decks I find annoying are like floodgate decks and de decks that they just don't let you play. And then like these top big tier zero decks that are just so good. Like just way uh, blows every other deck out of the water. Like it's stupid. Um, whatever we search, he's going to negate. He's going to negate. So we lose. 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 We lose, we lose. I hope you feel proud, buddy. I hope you feel fucking proud. Fucking piece of shit. Ban what? Sanctifier? Which card is that? Someone out there working for Konami really living out their childhood custom card fantasies? Like, I feel like... I feel like there's people that, like, play the game that work with Konami, and they're like, yo, you gotta make this, you gotta make this, you gotta make this. Oh, they'll, they'll love it. Oh, the plebs will eat this one up. Damn it, this hand is good going first. Oh my god, tears. Another fucking stupid deck. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <sighs> la 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 la. need to stretch my legs dude yeah today will definitely be a rest day i really want to work out but i did triceps uh not yesterday but the day before and i want to do a workout i want to do overhead press which involves the triceps so i need to make sure they're at 100 percent we're all about strength full power baby They ban the shufflers. Ugh. The deck is still annoying though. Because people just like throw everything in there and they're like a whole bunch of graveyard shenanigans.
Look at that. Chain link four. What the fuck is even going on in there? They got a Destrudo in there too. Ugh. He got a good mill. They always get good mills, man. They always seem to get what they want all the time. Bro, why do I keep opening Nini? I always open this card. <sighs> we'll be able to uh, bait with Anima, which is cool. I, I swear to God, man. They better not have Maxi. There's two Maxis in the graveyard. I swear to God, if they opened... If they opened up their, their, their final Maxi... I might just fucking blow up. I might just self-destruct. Wow. Look at all the back row. Call by the grave... Uh, Salik. Maybe some floodgate. Who knows? There's a Baron. <sighs> Alright, so how many, how many interruptions is this guy going to have? You know he's got hand traps. Who knows what those face downs are? I'm sure one of them is a call by. Uh, speaking of call by, this is pretty good for me. Although I don't know how good it'll be right now. Baron to floor. Okay, first is Magician Souls. Man, if I could bait out the Baron negate and steal it with an anima, which I I don't think I will, I'll be able to. Like, the, uh, too many back row cards, man. I know he got something. I know he got something. He got something. And he's also got a uh, special summon negate. Does it negate and destroy? Yes, it negates and destroys. Alright, so we lost the Magician Souls. He's a full-fledged sweat. I'm like really curious what the face downs are. I'm sure one of them is a Sully and one is a call by. Uh, what did he send to the grave? A rhino? Did it not activate? Imperm? Not in the middle column? Possibly. Okay. So what other other plays we got? We got uh, search to search for um, Ohime. It's gonna negate that. Interesting. Very interesting. Very very interesting. We're now going to normal summon. I wish I had like a Trias or something. <laughs> yeah, there's the Sulik, uh, and that's pretty much game. But there's like nothing, nothing really I can do. That's game. Um, my hand kind of, <sighs> like actually, my hand wasn't too bad, but. That's all I got. There ain't nothing more I can do, brother. Um, I wish there was a way to get this into the graveyard. Then I could steal. But they could just... Oh, yeah. They wouldn't be able to negate that. 
Um, no, Anima, I need a level one. My Magician Souls was going to be the only way to do that. I would have loved to make an Anima steal the Baron. <sighs> then send one tier from the deck to the graveyard. Damn it, I just set the fucking call by. Whatever, that's that's game. What up, Tiana? Good going first hand, man. Not a good one. Um, we do have Arabesque, though. Arabesque, really good going second. I just meant to say not a good hand in general. I don't know why I said going first. I'm always thinking of like uh, two different things at the same time. Whenever I say stuff, whenever I say like weird shit like that, it's because I'm thinking about two things at the same time. Like right now, I was thinking about my hand, saying thinking about it sucks. And then at the same time, I was thinking that, oh, I have Arabesque though. So that's good going second. <laughs> so I don't know why, like... This is my. I'm weird like that. I I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's the ADHD. That's got to be the only explanation. It's like my mouth. My mouth thinks one thing, and my head thinks another thing at the exact same time. Speederoids. Speeder, speeder. Uh, at least with this hand. Okay, with this hand, we could search Diviner. But the thing is, we have to get rid of Arabesque or Normal Summon Egg. And if I Normal Summon Egg, that means I won't have a Tribute. They're gonna, um, bro. What the fuck? How did they get so much shit in the graveyard? What the heck, bro? Did I, like how long did I zone out for? How did they get all this in the graveyard? What did they do? Yeah, but they can, uh, they can still set up uh, like some negates and stuff. Um, I think it shouldn't be too bad though. Like they'll they'll have like clear wing or crystal wing. Um, they'll have like another synchro. I think I forget what it is. I don't know if they have any like back row cards. I forget. Hmm. <sighs> I keep forgetting to change my latest video uh, notification. That's been there for that's been there for like months, man. Every day I forget to change it. T 
telling all the Yu-Gi-Oh people to go watch a Summoner's War video. <laughs> Let me eat one of these uh chicken bites. Did I track this yet? I'm sure I did. Um Yeah, ten pieces. Cool. So 11 pieces. Is only 10 more calories? Really? Cool. I'll have me one of these. Can't believe I can't play Goldie anymore? Why? That's it. Did we just draw Tutu? Or Nini? This is like the third duel in a row we drew Nini. Okay. This is the problem though. We only have one spell card. Which means we're going to have to normal summon this. Cause every time I do, I gotta face a uh, snake or cash. Do they just get hard countered, or are you just going second all the time? Okay, uh, we definitely gotta deal with the negate. He's definitely gonna negate this. And then we're going to have to normal summon. It sucks, but we're going to have to normal summon egg. We're, we're, we, we always have Nini. Now we have to normal that. Because we need a spell to discard. The fact that the delay means he might have Ash. If he has Ash, we lose. Oh! Well, that's pretty much game. Any extra deck monster I summon is going to be negated and, and go to zero. Yeah, there's uh nothing we can do. It's just That's all we had. That was that was our only play with this hand. Nini's not a warrior or or a fairy, so I can't tribute it and I need Sigran for the play I'm thinking of. The only way to summon this is by tributing the monsters I need. Another delay? What is he have something in his graveyard or something? Shut the hell up, Zilla. Um might as well destroy the link monster at least. Maxi, oh my god. Ash and Maxi, bro. I 
I honestly should just... I should just scoop. Yeah, there's nothing I could do. That's rough, man. We keep drawing Nini, man. We don't we don't want to draw Nini. We don't want to open up with fucking Nini. Also, I realized I don't have as much spells in my deck anymore. Like, look at my monster ratio to spells. That is not good. That is why Ritual Sanctuary is not doing so good right now. It's because I added an extra copy of Ben 10. And I added three Cyber Tutu Bonds. Which, Tutu Bond, I've been liking. It, it really has been, like, all that bad. And it saved my ass a couple times. Maybe we cut it to two instead of three. Definitely not one. We're just never we're, we're never gonna see it. And now we have we have to add a spell. We need we need to add a spell that's really good. What's a spell? Uh, we can't add Nadir Servant because we don't have targets anymore. Upstart. Uh, wait, actually, now that you mentioned hand traps, uh, maybe triple tactics. Maybe one triple tactics. No, there's no way to recycle Ben 10. Like, once you tribute it, it's go it's done it's just chilling in the graveyard that's like the one that's like the one thing about this deck is we don't really have a way to add stuff from the graveyard back to our hand like once something hits the graveyard it's pretty much staying there unless ritual sanctuary is going to special summon it since we never ritual summon ben 10 there's no way of summoning it we don't play any machine angel ritual cards um, I thought about playing Cyber Angel, uh, the level two Cyber Angel, but it's just another normal summon. Um, like I could test it, but the, the, the only problem is like, I'm just going to have so many normal summons now that I might want to add another Kayo. But then I'm just taking more shit out. Like, honestly, man, we've been opening up Nini so much. Maybe I could take it out. But then if I only have one Mikonkwa target, Arabesque is just dog shit. Like, I need two targets or else Arabesque is going to be a brick. So, unfortunately, I need Nini. Let's just try this. Lose a lose a rank. Wait. Uh oh, that's right. I'm not even diamond yet. I'm fucking trying to get the diamond. Bro, come on. I don't want to rank all the way down and fucking... Oh my god, waste of time. Floodgates? Mm. Yeah, but like the thing with floodgates is... Let's say I, I brick. How do I unbrick myself out of the floodgate? There is Sigrun. I could do that. Like, for example, Sigrun just... Get rid of skill drain. Other than that, like other than Sigrun, uh, what else do I do? Like it's just Sigrun. That's it. Place done. Uh, I'm not a virgin, Godzilla. 
Okay, we need baits first. Uh, do I grab Benten or do I grab Ohime? See, look, bro, Nini for like, what, the fifth duel in a row? What the fuck is going on? Hackertures and Valhalla, I don't like them. Well, I mean, I don't hate them. I just don't find that they're good enough. Because Valhalla needs you to control no monsters. And then once you use it, it's done. Um, like, after I use Valhalla once... I'm never going to use it again. There's, there's not there's not much points where like, I'm going to empty my field to where I could just activate it again. Because if my opponent empties my field, most likely my Valhalla is gone. Okay, if I grab Ohime, um, I could search Arabesque. I think Ben 10 is better because just in case Diviner gets uh, ashed, gets impermed, gets anything, we have Ben 10 into uh, be uh, 2 2 into Ben 10 to search trias. And then we still have full combo right there. Boom. Um. But do I want to tribute Ben 10 or do I just tribute Diviner instead? We do want a rank 9 play. So we will special summon by tributing Ben 10, which will search the Trias. not looking like a solo mode deck what are you talking about bro you're just jealous you're just jealous that my deck actually has synergy you're just jealous that let me check my hand you're just jealous that uh, my deck that gets like no support is doing better than your blue eyes deck that always gets support like once a year you're just jelly um, 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 um. kaiju interesting very interesting Might as well make IP. What about Guardian Iatos? Uh, Guardian Iatos is hard to play because you need no monsters in your graveyard. Like that, like it's not going to happen. Like Guardian Iatos doesn't... Duh. Like... It's it's just a brick. Cause you have you have to open it up turn one for it to be good. There's no other way to summon it easy. Are we waiting for the support to arrive? You don't normally stream this long? I don't normally stream this long since last month because I was fasting and I, I needed to eat around this time. But uh, I'm not fasting anymore, so I can stream I can stream more. Yeah, but you're just asking me to make my deck worse, Spindy. Uh, I'll 
Oh, wait, I read your message wrong. But it's not like you're playing past turn one anyways, right? Um, I thought you said I don't have the best turn one. I mean, that's the goal, but it doesn't happen often. We usually play past turn one. Um, did he activate this effect already? Yes, the effect is applied. Uh, so I'll wait till he resolves this. Uh, yeah, now we'll steal. Because this, is, this isn't on summon. He has to activate it. Why is there a delay? He has a second effect where he gets a draw? Come on, dude. Better better him drawing than him searching exactly what he wants. At least I can make a goddess. Once per turn you can target one either one light machine monster control or get this card or supposed to What's he gonna do? What's what's the game plan here? Is he just gonna link them off? Is that a link? When this card is link summoned, you can pay twelve hundred, add a pendulum monster and take your hand. But for the rest of this turn, unless you pendulum summon after this effect resolves, you can't activate monster effects. What is this union engine for? What is he cooking? Union hanger? Uh, I'm going to steal that right now. I'm not going to let Union Hanger resolve. I ain't going to let it resolve, brother. And now I think we pretty much win here. We know one card in his hand. There's one card we don't know. And he got lucky and, and drew Regulus. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to make Goddess. Because once Goddess summons, it'll resolve. And Regulus should be negated, right? Or does it not work like that? Did I fuck up? Regulus is not negated? Okay, so I did fuck up. Oh yeah, it's on Link Summon effect. Okay, no, we're fine. Wait, that's not a once per turn? What the fuck? Are you serious? It's not once per turn. <laughs> Come on, can I top deck something good? Sigrun, not good. Get your ass in the graveyard, boy. Okay, so we know, I believe, two cards in his hand. They're both... Uh, What's this archetype called? ABC? They're both ABC cards. We're cooked? Are we actually? Rainbow Bridge? You could... Wait, what? You could banish this card from your graveyard? Add a Crystal Beast Monster and one Field Spell from your deck to your hand? Damn. Damn. 
Bro, as... <sighs> he got that draw. He got Regulus off that draw from us stealing the fucking... Uh, uh, that psychic monster. Oh my god, bro. You gotta be shitting me, man. Ah, fuck. What's his attack? 3k? It's it it targets as well, right? Oh my god, that's like the perfect counter, man. It banishes, it doesn't destroy, and now that there's a rank down. Oh my god. Jesus fuck, dude. Oh my god, this is so time consuming, bro. I don't want to rank back up, man. Former wins the plot one, man. Oh my god, brother. I think I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm fucking tired. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I'm going to stream tomorrow, too. I don't work. I don't work tomorrow. So, I'll be back again. Oh, I'm going to call that a stream. Uh, so, for next stream, the new cards will come out. So, I'll be changing this deck up a little bit. I'll be testing out the new uh, Mikonko support. We'll... we'll the deck will be, the deck will be, uh, it'll have a lot more Mikonko cards in it. So until then, thank you guys for the follows. Thank you guys for coming back to the stream. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going to go to sleep. I don't know what time I'll stream tomorrow. Um, maybe it'll be an earlier stream, I think. Because I, I will be working out tomorrow. I do work the next day as well. So yeah, it'll probably be an earlier stream. Alright. I'll see you guys. Peace out.